He just, I'm, that was weird. I'm here. That was weird. Oh. Well, that, this is going to be a great show. What a great start. Can you can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we can, can hear you just fine. Yeah, you just kind of disappeared for a second. You just disappeared, yeah. and I added. You, well, I'm sure this one. Oh no! Oh no! Not again! He did it again. Uh oh! What's going on? I'm not pressing any buttons. Oh, I swear. We'll see. What what's your internet like, sir? Are you hardwired? Look like wireless? it's good. Yeah, his it looks connection crisp, looks good. Crystal clear I'm, to me. I'm look, wireless. Yeah, well, there you go. And look, yeah. we all know that Delvin's the Delvin's bars be full, and Delvin just be here and there and gone tomorrow. Yeah, so who knows? yeah. Everybody Crunchy. looks clear to me. Start calling you Captain Crunch. It's your <laughs> audio signal. It's just Captain Crunch. <laughs> that works. So. It can be. It can be a little bit. Uh, it can be a little bit spotty sometimes. We'll figure it out. So, but fly by the seat of our pants. Patch it together later. That's what we do. Yeah, yeah it is start the is. show. Welcome, Internet, to the Place of Video Games podcast. It's your boy, Dad Ninja Dev, joined as always by Donnie Eat the Hype Reese. Mama Rhodes Reese. Mama Rhodes today. Mm-hmm. Some dude named Delvin who is old as fuck. I am. You knew that. Look. And uh, returning for the very first time, JV. What's poppin', yeah, What up, what up, what up? I it's didn't realize when I was coming in there, I was walking into the United Negro College Fund. <laughs> to, to to the yeah, Black Olympics yeah. <laughs> to, yeah. to Soul Train <laughs> <That's right>. Soul <laughs> Train to, to, to BT After Dark. Go ahead, Johnny. Make one of those jokes, Johnny. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Like we're this is pretty much nation of domination, and yeah. Donnie is Owen Hart. That is pretty That's accurate. Fine. I'm down with that. Can Here we go. Owen. Already starting with the wrestling. It's going to be a long a wrestling show. Week, man. Yeah. Dude, it's so yeah. hyped, Dev. Get hyped. Like a Mania week. Yeah. I won't. Time to see Mania's Mama Rhodes week. cry, yeah. shed those tears. Yeah. Sir Baby Boy's blood spread across the belt. <laughs> Listen <laughs> to me, boy. This shit is uh, the best. So all good. I know is he better relax. Cody Rhodes, <laughs> Cody Rhodes' mama is Latina. And them motherfuckers throw Clintetas cl- at people. <laughs> chocolates. The chocolates. chocolates will leave the people alone. <laughs> hmm. Rock ain't scared. Rock ain't never scared. He don't care. Mama Rose can take a seat. I don't know about that. Yeah, he's starting to round into form. When he first jumped in, he was off his game. It was noticeable, but everybody was okay with it because they were just happy to see the Rock back. But he's rounding in the form with every promo. Is getting better and better and better. And you start getting more. You're like, ah, this is the man. That, that captivated millions. Dude. Like it's this is the great. millions. The oh, it's the, so the final good. Boss thing is just like the evolution to go from Hollywood the boss to the final boss. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, good. It's just, so that's it's what that is. Co- Cody said it on um a podcast today. He was talking about. He was like, "This is what Rock is doing." Reminds him of what Hollywood Hogan did for Hulk Hogan's career, whereas people like. Loved Hulk Hogan as a good guy, but when he became a heel, he became like that guy. Yeah, we've seen Rock as a heel before, but not like this. This is no, not like this. He feel, he he feels like he's now like Black Adam as a wrestler. Yeah, kind of. I mean, he's making kids cry. Yeah, yeah. it's it's cool. And then tell him, my wife loved that. I said, and he's like, "All right, mom and dad, get your baby, put him in front of the TV." Sometimes people talk shit, get shot. <laughs> <It's> like, <"Whoa." laughs> You didn't see all those videos, Dev? They're fantastic. Sometimes a man's got to whoop some ass. No, I'm not paying yeah. any attention to any of this shit. There I are a bunch care of less. videos oh, of little kids crying because The Rock you, beat you the shit Cody Rhodes. It's like, amazing. Yeah, tears. Tears. And Cody yeah, no, no, babies. The fun part was that the, the promo that he came back with is that he put it up on the Teletron, all the kids crying, and then he told, he looked into the camera, he said, all right, moms, dads, I'm going to talk to your kids. Have him come sit in front of the TV. And then he proceeded to just, just cuss them out. <laughs> 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 it's so great. 
Go get your full year old. <laughs> so Sometimes great. you got to cuss the kids out. Yeah, fuck them kids. Exactly. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. There he is. Well, it's going to be a recurring theme. <laughs> JV is, is going to continue to pop Not in here. and out. He's here, there, He's here. here there. Yeah. I'm, I'm we here. finally found I'm somebody here. with worse internet than Delvin, if that's possible. Mm. It's not possible. How dare you? doesn't JV look great on your here. resume, JV. I got to tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's it's <laughs> Spectrum's fault. Okay. I have nothing is to it? do with this, and I have no choices. It, is it's it? Spectrum. We're going to have to get you an Ethernet yeah. cable. Yeah, That's you get a long <laughs> Ethernet cable, just plug right in. Plug in set you Dev's up. house. A good old 20 footer. Uh-oh. What now? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what? There we go. You were robotic there, sir. Uh, the Terminators are taking over. That's fine. Well, that's true. Yeah. They are. We're all going to die one day, so it doesn't matter. This mm-hmm. is true. Yep. Terminator Maybe it'll come sooner for some of us than others. Yeah. Oh, he's all kind of I am sorry. <laughs> right. we'll we'll try to bring JV back in a minute. Let's see if he can't get that together, because he's all kind of frozen. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Mm-hmm. Wow, it's a great first impression. It was fun. It was funny because it was fine until we pressed like, like it was fun until it last. Like well, it lasted. It was it fun was, for a moment. Too, it was fun for a moment. But no, That's it, true. It was, it was fun until Wait, can like you guys hear me? Yes. Not, not when we pull you no, away. Now we can. We can now. He probably doesn't even know that he's disappearing okay. and coming back. Like he has no yeah, idea. Yeah, as soon as you know, I can see myself disappearing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he sees. But when you're gone, me. we can't hear you because that's you're gone. correct. <laughs> you're gone. Gotcha. So before this well, goes this any further, <laughs> since you're a guest here, JV, let us know what the hell you've yeah. been up to. What have you been? Oh yeah, you go out. Yeah. Get it in. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll make it quick. Uh, man, just uh, just walk. A lot of <laughs> I told you. All right, JV, that's not going to work, man. Um, I don't know what to do. Uh, JV, you can, re- you can restart your router. You can no, try no, joining. Me. You can try plug in. Try to do something. Try to do something different. Otherwise, we're going to have to bring you back next week, and we'll try again because yeah, re- you, can't, you can't be doing a whole podcast like that. Reboot and come back in, JV. Deb's going to have to damn edit this show. He's not going to do that. We know Deb's not going to do it. He's just gonna send that shit out there like that, just rock wop 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 wop. That yeah, works basically. Like this is the real experience. This is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> JV, <sighs> kick your daughter off the internet. Just lock your tell them they can't. I do that they to my kids often. Yeah. No Fortnite. They can't stream right now. No Fortnite. No TV. Nothing. You got dad's internet tonight. Dad's internet. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Since we lost JV, I treat those kids the like other, a rock. What, what, what the fuck you been up to, Delvin? Um, it's been an interesting week. Um, I have a funny story. So UPS fucked me again like they always do. And they're just like, oh, we're going to deliver a package at some random spot for you to go pick it up at. I'm like, motherfucker. So can you take a guess what they decide to deliver it's that, like a, It's like a side quest in No More Heroes. Hmm. Yeah, pretty much. You got a package. Like, here's a coordinate, and you just got to go find it. <laughs> you pretty to, much. Like, roll That's literally what happened. <laughs> just trying to figure out, like, did you, hey, did you get a, did you get a package? <laughs> <laughs> All right. They delivered it. I know this is closely inappropriate, but I'm going to say it. They delivered it at what's called the Arab store. Have the Arab, Arab, Arab store? Have any of yeah. you heard this expression? Yeah. No. I've not. No, so, this is Chappelle off the, the I Know Black People show. Right? And they're like, yeah. what's a Lucy? And the guy's like, man, like that's great. that's. That's ten cent from the A rap. Like I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> that, 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 See, you know. I know exactly what you're talking about. In, in, in Miami, I guess Florida in general, there's a lot of Arab Americans that own stores. Mm-hmm. Like you know, like in um New York, you know Chinatown has the same the bodegas. thing. Bodegas, bodegas yeah. and stuff like that. Ours are called A rap stores, even if A rap people don't run them. They're not that's called just what that. they call them. Huh? But they're Ours not are called Seven Eleven. No, that's literally what they call them. <laughs> that's not literally what. That's what you call them, but that's not literally what they're called. Well, we have something that literally called that. <laughs> the sign no, does not. No, the sign A-Rats does not bro. say no, that. The sign does say it. Some of what? Them. It does. I need. Not. I need photo proof of this. I need proof. Yeah, we. Can't I don't, don't believe you. The next time I drive by, what this says, and I'll show it to you. I'll take a picture. Miami. You, if this that mm. common, you should know exactly where one is. It it's shouldn't like, even be the like next time I drive by one. Because there's one, there's one across the street from me. That's like on every it, corner. And it says a rap store. No, that one just says Bawa. Okay. Again, says, 
there's show a, me the sign. There's a top ten list on Yelp. See there you go. There's a top oh, ten God. Arab stores in Miami on Yelp. See there you go. This this is how well known it is. <laughs> no no no. But here's the thing. They're not called. They're called. Um, here are the names. The Middle East best food. Well, the Al Basha. <laughs> the Aladdin Market and Grill. Well, Al Amir. The original daily bread. The Aladdin Mediterranean Market and Grill. So it's different. The Beirut Market and Shaddai Fine Lebanese Cuisine. And I think it says and gas. So, and gas sounds about right. That sounds and about right. And gas. Yeah. So there. So again, go. I need I need a sign that says Arab store. If I pass by one, I'll take a picture so and show it to you. Because so. technically, every single 7 Eleven is called said. the Arab No, store that is correct. That's, but it's, but that's that the is thing, who runs them. But we don't know thing, how, though. but that is also correct. In Miami, that's not always the case. A lot of our 7 Elevens are run by like black people or Cuban people. Mm. It's only that's like who, that's who's working there. That's who's working no, there. They're running the it too. Running. They're running it too, but it's particular the stores, the regular stores. Like the family-owned stores are either run by black people or they're run by Arab people. But that's not even part of the story. So this is what happened. It's Arab. <laughs> we call it Arab here. Arab. Like, Arab, like, Arab, by the way. No. I'm not sure if anybody told you. Nope, not doing that. It is Mm-mm. In Miami, it's called the Arab store. I'm going to call it what it is. Call it what it is. So. Oh, Florida. They delivered my package <laughs> to this random store, right? So I what did, you ordered something and they delivered it to a gas station. Not even a gas station, just a random like store. It's a store, like a, a little corner convenience store you can go get stuff from. Like gotcha. thinking about like gas. a circle like a circle K. It might actually those, be a circle K. Those have point. gas. That's what I was the first thing I thought. I, I was don't yeah. have gas. Also, circle K's don't have gas. Of course not. <laughs> no. yeah. Okay. Not a, anyway. Florida semantics. is like a foreign country. Florida yeah. Mantics. Yeah, let's so, move on. Florida Mantics. I go there. I'm like, I give them the thing, like, oh, your package is not here yet. I'm like, what do you mean my package is not here yet? Or your package probably be here like around two o'clock. What? Like, huh? Like, but so why did they give me the paper? Like, oh, shit, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, How does he know when it's going to be there? He said, because that's when they usually come there. And then I'm trying to leave, and then I see this guy I know from high school. And he's like, hey, man, he's talking to me like 10 minutes. Like, I'm trying to leave, bro. I ain't trying to have this conversation. Then he asked the question that um, everybody dreads here. Hey, man, you got some work? You got a job, man? You got some place you can go work at? I'm like, yeah. No, bro. I don't have a job. Don't they hiring job. where you at? Yeah. Like, no. They are, they're not. <laughs> so I leave, go do what I got to do. You can't help a guy out? Damn, Dylan. I don't know, right? You run your own company. You got some work? Mm. Terrible. <laughs> so, you can have him pick up your package, you know? That's I, true. That's what I should have You could have thrown him a few shekels for that. <laughs> so, like, while you're here, I go back to the store at two o'clock, and like a scene from Friday, there's a guy sleeping in front of the store. So as I'm walking, <laughs> up, why as I'm walking, see damn loud, I'm not gonna come up. As I'm walking up to the store, one of the guys who I don't think he even works there, he comes there, he comes outside with a big ass jug of water, throws it on the guy sleeping. Excuse my language, Donnie. <laughs> it says, hey, nigga, get the fuck up. <laughs> 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 the guy, that note them, a whole jug of jug. water the whole jug. The whole was thing. thrown on him. He did not move an inch. He's used to it. Did he wake up? This, this, no. This is his first time. It's not his <laughs> first time. He didn't move. He didn't wake up. So the, the next thing the guy says, black dude, by the way, this motherfucker's dead. I think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit, we, like, should we call the cops? I'm like, should I fucking leave? <laughs> I'm so sad with this. Elvin's over there. Can I get my package? Can I please just? Get I'm just package? trying to get my package. It got delivered here in error. Why is it even here? Yeah. I don't live here. I don't live there. And he's like, They're like trying to upsell him some stuff. Like, do you want some incense? Do you want? He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I got these cheeseburgers, man. Yes. <laughs> here for my. <laughs> Certified mail, please. So, so they're they're sitting they're sitting there like I think I see them breathing. Well, we should beat the fuck out of them, make them leave. Like, yeah, that's gonna solve the problem. <laughs> like, what is going on here? I'm like, you, you know, what? I'm just trying to get my package. 
and the guy, I'm, I, I'm walking inside the store, trying to walk past this situation. I don't want no part of that. And as I'm walking past this situation, the same fucking friend I saw this morning is still at the goddamn store. Of course. That's why we told you you should have had him bring your package. We knew that. He's like, hey, man, I think your package is in there. I'm like, oh, oh thank you, You could have been like, listen, I got 20 bucks a week. You stay here, <laughs> and every time I get a package here, you bring it to me. 20 bucks a week. It's not a bad job. I'm telling you. You, get you, need, a, you need a package subscription service. You'll be surprised. Because clearly, your mailman gives no fucks about you at all. Not even a little bit. <laughs> He's dropping your shit wherever he feels like. So I, I go inside. Motherfuckers in there playing dice. <laughs> Just mm-hmm. right, like, wow. like they're just playing dice, like right in the middle of like where people shop at and shit. Playing yeah. dice, it like like it's, like it's literally like a scene from Friday. Like, hey, can I get my package? He he goes and grabs the package. The package like it's been like beat the shit. Like they didn't. Yeah, because like, they, they opened it to see what was in it for. <laughs> they, they might have. It was like, like this package. Like I'm like I'm like you sure this package is okay? Yeah, man, it's good. It's good. It's good. We know Delvin gets that good good. We're going to open all of his stuff and decide yeah. whether or not we're going to let him get list. it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, can we uh, resell this? They can resell nothing on that, in that package. That's so why I, you got it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I finally get out. As I'm walking out, they're still trying to figure out what they're going to do with this guy who's laying on the floor, still sleeping apparently. And I say, fuck this. I'm leaving before the cops come. And as I'm leaving... I see a cop car coming. I'm like, up. Oh, I know it's going down now. <laughs> Damn. But in the package was one of my birthday gifts I got. That was really cool. They got me um, a visual history of the Transformers book. And it is who is pictured- they? My kids. Can you? Can they not just make sure it gets delivered to the right place? They, like, they come did. on, come on, kids, do better. They did, but of course. They don't give a fuck. Amazon and UPS don't give a fuck. They're like, whatever. We're going to deliver what we want to deliver at. So, did they pick the Amazon locker situation? Like, No! They picked it to my I house. Swore didn't have him lockers. But they were like, we can't deliver the here. So we're we're, we're not going to deliver Debbie to your out. house because clearly it's not safe at your house. We're going to deliver it to this store where this crackhead is laying on the floor. Maybe dead. Because that's a clearly Jesus. a more safer place. Yet another reason, ladies and gentlemen, to just stay out of Florida. Just yeah, pretty much stay, stay away. away. There's no need to go down there. None. True. None whatsoever. She not even get, not even worth it for spring break now. Don't even go down there. Stay away. <laughs> One of the guys in my men's group at church happened to actually be down there during spring break or during oh. break when and he happened to go to Star Island. While they were raiding Diddy's house, so he's like driving. There's like cops on every little exit or just whatnot. So happy he's like, to be there. Is from just so happy that when Diddy was getting raided. Yeah, you see how he tried to play that? Like, just so happy that when Diddy was getting raided. Yeah, okay. we gave him all the crap for that. We're like, you, oh, you just know that he'll be questioned. What soon. was you? What was did you he, doing there? Did you got you, huh? So happened to be at an FBI raid. Yeah, just yeah, happened yeah. to be at Star Island that's, while Diddy was getting raided, huh? Hmm. Yeah, that's very convenient. That's wild. The diddler, huh? Keep your eye yeah. on him. What it's called? What it's called? The pink yeah, cocaine. He definitely. Yeah, he's about to yeah, the pink co- cocaine. <laughs> he's about to pick up some that pink cocaine that he got. Mm-hmm. Pink cocaine. Like I had no idea what pink cocaine was. I was like, neither. Did I didn't I. either. What is this? I knew what that yeah. was. Ex- ecstasy and coke. Color behind. Yeah, I didn't know about that. Man. We don't. We don't do that. We're. In- those is those is not the drugs. Apparently, one of y'all do. Yeah, your no. friends at church do. <laughs> yeah, like, the, that guy must. Your, 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 your Jesus friends. Yeah, Jesus Jesus guy might. Might. wait a minute. Apparently, <laughs> somebody that guy does. Might. Yeah, your Jesus you see friends. You the scene of the crime. You're trying to point yeah. the finger at me, man. Yeah, I'm sitting at home. It's yeah. a good point. But you know what it is. <laughs> I do know what it is. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know what it was. Yes, I, that sounds like two things that shouldn't go together. Right. Right. I mean, or it or, sounds like two things that should absolutely go together. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. See, now we got to yeah. watch you. Now yeah. we got to watch yeah. you. You're on a list. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying I would do it. I, I would. You're not saying you wouldn't. I would. You're not saying you wouldn't. Nah. It's nice to have absolutely. a little adventure. That's I not would. the adventure I'm looking for. Language. Not even. No, the, thank you. That's the exact adventure a young Jermaine is looking for. <laughs> I'm not a younger man. Based off of this week, you, I'm clearly not a younger man. 
Thank you all for the birthday wishes and fuck all of y'all. Pieces of shit. It's not our fault you were out there with Noah building the boat, man. Right. Right. (laughs) Oh, man. Everybody happy birthdays and fucking old people gifts. Like, you pieces Mm -hmm. of shit. Reagan. You're Ronald Reagan. You know. Yeah, you're, I this is the best dirt, sir. name ever for you. Like that's sticking. <laughs> that's so much better than Terrible gold nickname. coin. Terrible nickname. Is it? Yes. I think it's top fitting. five worst president. That's, I mean that that's definitely yeah. true. I mean, yeah. but uh, it works for you. Works no, for it you. doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> the black Ronald Reagan, Delvin Cox, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely not. Mm, oh, I'm gonna change it again. Black Reagan. Better. Black Reagan. Right. There it is. I, there I, it is. I... <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus. Oh, man. So you had a birthday. You had an adventure trying to get a oh, birthday. He's had package. 100 birthdays. This yeah, is true. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. <laughs> like, oh, you had a birthday. Me, like, Damn. Me, me and Mickey Mouse, right? <laughs> we just, just keep <laughs> No wonder he's into all of those, you know, IPs out in the in the public domain movies now. How dare you? Yeah, he's waiting for the Delvin movie. It's Bambi. Yeah. It's the he mouse in the Delvin movie. Yeah, you, they're all in the public be, domain. You guys should be making a Delvin. I don't know what You're in the public about. domain. Y'all should be making this movie. Why? Of, what of U.S. of UPS bodega? No, we story. weren't there. We can't tell your story. We weren't yeah, there. Like of course, y'all hand handling boring. crack in the y'all, back of car stories. Like nobody y'all wants to see can this. finish the story. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're probably going to outlive all of us as well. Yeah, that's true. I'm trying to think yeah. who would play Donnie cockroaches and Delvin. That's true. You know, they're going to be there at the end. Who, JV? Who should play Donnie in my life story? Um, got to pick somebody. I, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with Matt Damon. That's a good choice, Matt Damon. That's a solid choice. I feel, I feel I can see like that. Matt Damon is the right choice for that. I can see who, that. Who should play I Dev? Thinking, I was thinking Wahlberg. Uh, damn, who should play Dev? There's got to be somebody who's like an asshole. Yes. yes. Um, <laughs> what, what's the guy who got who got canceled? <laughs> Jonathan Majors. Uh, got canceled. <laughs> Jonathan oh, Majors should play Dev. <laughs> 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 like Jonathan Majors 100% should play Dev. <laughs> I mean, I'll allow it. I, I could, I could see it. I, yeah. I could definitely see it. Yeah, Larry David. Larry That's David. Larry He's David definitely. makes a lot of good sense. He's definitely, Dev. Actually, I like it. Larry David. Yeah, we'll just race swap it. No problem. Yeah, Pretty why much. not? Yeah. Why yeah. not? Doesn't matter. Yeah. Now I'm trying to think who would play me. You, you're, you're, no, you're old. No. You're there. You're, you're, you're gonna no, play. Answers I mean, this question. JB Smooth. I was gonna say JB Smooth. Exactly. JB Smooth is is a good choice. Yeah, that is a very good choice. That's like the most because y'all niggas basically the same. I've never seen y'all in the same place at the same time. That is a good point. That is a fair so, point. JB Smooth would be good. That'll work. That'll work. Jesus. All right. Now that your internet seems to be working, JV. Yeah. Let's try it what again. The hell you, let's try it again. What you been up to, sir? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Fuck you, smoking Joe. <laughs> Daddy <Clark. laughs> Danny Glover is apt. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that works. That works. <laughs> oh, man, I've just been uh, watching a lot of wrestling. Obviously, it's yep. mainly a week. Tis the so, season. Um, Great week. It's 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 the best week of the year. Um, I agree. Just I don't amazing. Yeah, definitely. I don't know about that. Week of the year. I, I, the week of the year. Yeah. 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 I think it's the best week. This week you know might be the best year? week of the year. Yeah. This I think week. this week will have a claim Maybe. to be the best week of the year so far. I'll meet you there. It, it might. It might. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. You, you know, got a got a couple of things coming out. I've been checking out uh, movies. Obviously, much to Dev's chagrin. Um, since Do I better. have a season pass, Do I'm better. always in the theaters. Oh and, yeah, uh, yeah. Watching X Men '97 and just being like, yeah, yeah. fantastic yeah. show. This is amazing. This is excellent. Just amazing. So yeah, man. I've just been uh, just been in, but mostly in the wrestling culture. 
just mostly in the wrestling culture right now. It's in, it's in my veins. The Rock has me revitalized. It has me, you know, feeling like like the old. CM Punk's days. got Devin clutching nah. pearls and holding back tears. Nah, not even. He's just over here. It's real to me, damn it. <laughs> Punk's nah. coming for his kids. Nah, he's just corny. <laughs> corny. Yeah. Now he's corny. Yeah, he's he, been corny. I mean, he, man was all yeah, about it when he joined AEW. Yeah. I can like him as a performer. And think he's all cool, about but it when he there joined are, AEW. There are plenty. He's of all about every like. other shoot diss track that's ever been done by a wrestler. Not even close. There are plenty. Of Let him turn around like. and go the other way, and he's I, like, there are "This man needs to shut up already." <laughs> there are plenty of people that I like as wrestlers that are corny as fuck. Mm-hmm. I.e. AJ Styles. AJ Styles, one of my favorite wrestlers. As a person. Ooh, very suspect. <laughs> yeah, is it the hair? What, it's a person? No, no, no. It's some of his takes. It's not his. It's, I'm, I'm just. What are, what are his takes? I've never heard of AJ Styles' hot take. Does he have hot takes? I don't, I'll, I'll mess you later about them. <laughs> Who's listening to AJ Styles outside of wrestling? Like, why? Delvin. Why? All of them are terrible, by the way. Most yeah. wrestlers are. That's true. Most. I mean, I was stunned. I was stunned. Wrong. Knowing your history, you love the dirt sheets. And anytime not anybody, really. I remember, I remember when Jericho did it. I remember when Moxley did it. No. And Delvin was there. I like, oh, you got to hear. You got to see. Look what they said. I Look like, what they said about Vince. Look what they said about creative. Look at it. I and like then the moment Punk people, does, he's like, ah, we're, no. I'm done with this. I'm tired of this. We're over he this. does it all the time. That's what that, yeah, that's his thing. Like, I don't want to yeah, hear it. No Ariel more, asked him the question, though. Ariel asked him the question, and then he answered it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I thought, it was, I thought it was pretty fair. My cousin Ariel. I can't, I can't pronounce the dude's last name. Ariel, Ariel Hawani. Hawani. Yeah. Hawani. Yeah, he, Ariel he runs Hawani an MMA podcast. And, and plus, yeah. my whole thing is this out of all the things, I don't even want to get to We'll get to it. Out of yeah. all the things. Don't even do it. You don't have to talk about it. I don't want to. I just let me let me make my joke and let us move on. We can. I was like, yo, we got the Bray Wyatt. I'm not even gonna bring it up. The, check out the Bray Wyatt documentary. I didn't know there was a Roman Reigns documentary that's out. And they yeah. said that's dope as fuck too. Why it did is. they release? Did they come out the they same did. week? They did. That was yeah. a terrible. Why did they do that? Well, it's because the Roman, Roman Reigns isn't a doc. It's just an episode on the AEW show. Oh, the A and E show. I got yeah, you. Or the, yeah, the A and E show. Yeah, it's just an episode of that. Okay, uh, so. but they did put the episode on YouTube. You don't have to; you can watch it for free, and it is very good. Huh. And you know why they did it? It's mania. Yeah, but it's they like- are priming the hell out of this engine. That's all they're doing. That's why Punk is on the. That's why he's on the the podcast. That's why Cody's on the podcast. That's why Rhea's on the podcast. That's why they did the, the Bray. That's why they did the documentary. They are just pumping the engine full of hype. The, I like the Becky and running, it, and it's the Becky running really. was awesome, and it's working. It's working. I will, JV, before you guys shut up, me and JV were just talking. My wife asked me if WrestleMania was this weekend. People are going to watch it. My yeah, wife. People, she was like, so is, is, is wrestling this weekend? I was like, yeah. She's like, I just keep seeing it everywhere. I'm like, yeah. It's Here working. People that have no interest in wrestling or, or haven't had an interest in wrestling. That's the power of The Rock. Everybody's Here, like, The Rock's overshadowing that. Roman. Good. Look at what that does. Like, Look at what The Rock Here, does. Of course he is. He's The Rock. Here is my hot take. It might not be that hot of a take. I think this is going to be the most watched WrestleMania in history. Yeah, I don't think that's a hot take at all. I think, I think it's going to be, be and it's yeah. not even going to be close. I was telling JV okay. pre-show, I worry that this this Mania may set a bar that they can't live up to again. Like it may be that it may be so out out there that like in the years to follow, everybody's like it was good, but it wasn't. It wasn't. I, mean, I think they have good. a chance at forty one. And the I'll reason I think they have a chance at 41 is because they have to tell this Roman versus Rock, yeah. Rock story, right? Yeah. So yeah. they have to or tell think, that. And then it, yeah, but you know, like injuries happen, happens. things happen. Like I'm sure that's, that's true. you know, yeah, but things happen. I, There's lots of shoulda, woulda, couldas that never was in the wrestling business. But I, you, I mean, you also have a potential Bianca, Rhea, Bianca, Jade. Like you, Jade. you, you have some matches that people want to see. For sure. Um, but this is going to be a high bar to clear. Like just yeah. the quality of talent that's on the card. And the storytelling and, and the, the creative and the outside yeah. stuff and the involvement and the star power. I mean, it's. They got little Wayne coming. Going coming for there. it. Yeah. They're going it's, for it. They're, they're really pulling out all the stops at this point. At this point, I, I don't think I've ever. We haven't even seen it yet. We haven't seen the entrances. Yeah. You know, no. like. 
Yeah, we don't even know that yet. We haven't great. even seen the stage yet. So, no. I think Forty One has a good chance of being one of the best ones. I think you can probably, like I say, Roman versus The Rock probably is a lock. As long as nobody nobody gets injured for Forty One, I would probably try to pull the trigger on Cena versus Cody. <clears throat> I think next year probably be the yeah. perfect time to do that. You could. I'd do Randy versus Cody. That could work too. Yeah, I think he's a more legitimate threat to the belt. Cena just doesn't have a whole lot of weight. I don't think Cody's going to have the belt by next week at WrestleMania. I don't either. I, I think I think The Rock probably will have the belt by then. They don't need the belt. I, no, that I disagree. They don't need the belt for that. We don't have to turn this into a fantasy book thing, but that match doesn't need the belt. There's no. Belt I, I agree, it doesn't at all. But they're going to give him the belt. <laughs> they, <laughs> he, doesn't, so. he doesn't. He doesn't because I, I. But I think I think, I think with Cody the by then. with Cody. Super baby face, the money's in the chase. So I could see him I, dropping it and then going into Mania trying to get it back. I could easily see And I a hundred percent could see that being Randy Orton. I could easily Could you see, see the him. turn the RKO yeah, out of nowhere to pick up the belt, get a short yeah. run with it and drop it again? I could Legacy totally history. That. Yeah, it's I, such an easy thing to I can easily see Cody winning that belt and Rock winning it at SummerSlam and being the final boss. And Roman's fighting back to get to the belt at WrestleMania. And Rock doesn't that's have to be there. Bad. That's Rock not bad. Rock doesn't have to I, be there for none of that. He, I will see your situation and raise it. The Rock who goes after Cody at SummerSlam, shenanigans happen that causes Rock to lose, which sets off the feud for Rock versus Roman. That could work, too. Cody keeps the belt. That could work. <clears throat> there's lots of ways you could do this. Tons of ways. Because there's a lot know, of ways you can do probably the most fun part about it is there's just – there's Nobody knows. So many possibilities now. Yeah, you don't know. For the first time in a long time, we really don't know what's going to happen. And that's great. Yeah, that's yeah. excellent. They have a surplus of people who could be champions, and nobody would be mad at. They have a surplus of 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 directions to go in. Of, of the, that's that creatively makes sense too. It wouldn't yeah. be like some ridiculous, yeah. out of nonsense, nowhere solution. All of these paths make sense. They all fit right into what they're doing. I can name ten people who can easily be champion. Nobody would blink eye at it mm -hmm. because they're, they're, they're that we good. We have no idea what's when Punk comes back. I mean, there is a Cody Punk thing to be had at some point. Yeah, whenever there's that happens, there's, there's other it. business. To, there's other business to finish. But like, this is what I was saying last year when we were talking about Cody, and the reason I said Roman keeps the belt is I kept saying like, what is Cody doing? Like, if he wins, where does Cody go? I didn't really see a path. Now I feel like they have four, five, six things lined up for Cody. Cody could do Seth. Cody could yeah. do Drew. Cody could do Punk. Cody could do Randy. There's lots of things for Cody to do at the moment yeah. that I just didn't see last year. So there's all sorts of offshoots right now. So this yeah. is th this is um, absolutely like one of the best builds to Mania that that I can remember. I agree. In a long ass time. I would say. I think it's better, but it's this is the best one since the Daniel Bryan takeover. I agree. Yeah, and God, that was like what almost ten years ago. Yeah, twenty sixteen. Yeah. yeah, like it was yeah. damn eight. This is a long time ago. Like since then, this has been the best, and I think it's better than that. Yeah, one of my favorite ones, Daniel Bryan one, the Kofi Kingston one was great. It's been so many good ones, but even then, I don't think the Kofi Kingston. I think that WrestleMania was good. But it wasn't this level good of, of like potential talent and it wasn't what was going on. Yeah. Everybody was just hyped for Coffee Mania. This yeah. feels like every match on here is is going to be amazing. I can't wait to split those damn tag belts. I'm so oh, excited. Thank to see this God. Match. Finally. <laughs> Finally, I think Finally. DIY is there to eat something, but I want them to pick one of them up. You know, I'm a, I'm a sucker for those guys. I've loved them since their NXT days. I'd love to see them get a run. They've been eating tons of pins on main roster. I'd like to see them do something. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, <laughs> DIY. <laughs> there, there went Delvin. Man, I don't know what's what's up with the internet. I just blame Melon at this point. Melon, like we're at capacity, we're at bandwidth. <laughs> how many? I, what I, Melon can do here? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, too many Negroes in one place. Yeah. Like, oh, that, a lot true. of black people don't know about <laughs> <No>. that. <laughs> and now when three of them get together, like, <laughs> when three and a half to get together. See, Dan, I, want to about you time, Dan. I know. That's, That's the why I, I was going to say half. something like that. God eats the half this time. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. I thought I thought it was yeah. a legendary smash on death. No, 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 no. Not this time. 
<laughs> no, Donnie would be would be suspect though. Like, yeah. like you ever? I mean, you know, you have like that one white dude in your crew. Oh yeah, we had. Oh yeah, we had the one white the dude one in our crew. Everybody scared and, like, of. Like, what did he? Over, what did he do to I, hang out with them? Exactly. That's I'm the like one you got to watch. <laughs> you know, he like, what are you? What are you yeah, doing? That, that hits too close to home. You know, he's are you okay, to... sir? Are you it's all right? Bit, it's a bit too much. <laughs> no, the, no, LAPD. That's a bit this too homeboy much. Justin, this homeboy Justin. I'm not gonna gonna say anything other than like he was live. He he had earned his way into the crew, and yeah. every time we get pulled over. I'd be like, damn, they harassing him like, like they want to Rodney King him right now. I yeah. think just for hanging out. With, there you go. You know, like he was, it was a dangerous situation for him. We were checking in, like, are you okay? It was like the officers were looking at us, like, hey, buddy, is this white guy doing something to you? Because <laughs> we don't trust. He bothering you. <laughs> you assistance. Just Link. <laughs> I've had experience like that with people. Of course you few have. My, yeah, a few of my friends. Yeah, they like, oh, we don't trust that white guy. <laughs> like, yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All right, well, I ain't been doing shit, so I have nothing to add to this. Um, Donnie, would you like to add anything before we get into the news? Donnie, are you going to get the Annabelle doll? Uh, you mean Megan? Yeah, I was Megan. Gonna say, so the yeah, Megan I doll? do want an Annabelle doll. The That's Megan the one doll. my wife is like, no. That's a good one. And I'm like, it's not even the real Annabelle. Like, she, you had a R- Annabelle doll. You Annabelle was originally Raggedy Ann doll. Everybody had one of those. Not pretty much it was. Like, the real Annabelle is a Raggedy Ann doll. I just love the look of the Annabelle from the movies, though. Like, Annabelle I actually from the want doll, that one. It's I think terrifying. It's a good one for you to have in the house. Yeah, the that's Megan what I want. doll, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the no. Megan doll, like, if you're... If... if if you're a grown ass man who buys a Megan doll, people are gonna look at you different. Yes, sure. They're gonna be like, "What? What is happening? Are you a mm-hmm. horror movie fan, or is this something else?" Yeah. Or should we be it, calling the cops? Or is yeah, it both? It, might, mm-hmm. it, it could mm-hmm. be. Mm-hmm. It could be. It's Get a you a Megan doll, some pink cocaine. It's a good cover. Wow. <laughs> I'll tell you. That, I mean, it's a good cover because, like, if you have another doll in the house, there's nothing you can cover for that. But if it's Megan, you're like, I love the movie. Big fan. You know, it's an alibi. Yeah. Still sus. Why it's sus, but it's an alibi. Still sus. Why is this doll so sticky? Well, <laughs> see, you got to go there. The first time I ever saw the teasers for Megan, I remember we were on Decade of Horror a couple years ago, and Josh was like, hey, what do you think about Megan? And I was like, is that a sex doll movie? And he was like, no, Donnie, why would you think that? And I'm like, I think we all know why I would think Look that. at the doll. <laughs> like, yeah. it's in the news. Like, we all know why I thought that, right? <laughs> like, yeah, come that, on. That is a conclusion that it makes sense to come <laughs> yeah, to. Yeah, I like, didn't think that until absolutely. today. I would yeah, have never but, even when Donnie didn't Mitchell, cross my mind. I'm like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, I was like, yeah, because it's been in the news for years. You know, the robots are coming. The dolls are going to replace people. I thought when I first saw the imagery, I was like, oh, this is like an exploitation movie. They're going to play off this fear, this little social media craze. They're going to do something with this. And they're like, no, this is actually like a damn AI, you know, helps your kid read better. And I was like, oh, it's Teddy and Rush. Megan, the movie, by the way, is pretty great. Like, pretty I enjoyed fun. it. It's, yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. It's going to be yeah, way better than fun. fucking Winnie the Pooh shit Delvin's on about. How dare you? No. Slander How Winnie dare Pooh, you? Blood and honey, too. Didn't have you to slander the- it. It slandered you- itself. And, and what's Did up you with see the Bambi trailer? You in this looks trash. Amazing. Bambi, Bambi flipped a car. You in this trash. Okay, we hold ourselves to a higher standard around here, Delvin. No, we don't. Do we? <laughs> yes, we do. Do we? That is yes, similar. maybe you do with your horror, but I don't think anything else well, that's has what a I mean standard. By we. I mean us. You're speaking French. The universe, this outlet which is questionable. Not at all. That is a questionable name. <laughs> there's, there's, no, there's no standards here. Everything is below bar. It's It's... <clears throat> Bambi flipped a car with his horns. <laughs> Bambi, <laughs> the whole car. I mean, you, you know what though? To be fair, if anybody has a right to, you know, just want kill white people, kill human beings, it's Bambi. I didn't say that. You said that. I didn't say that. <laughs> I don't know that Bambi's <laughs> racist. <laughs> Maybe a species. <laughs> I like it. Wow. I like how the horror movie tried to change it to make it a black guy. Like you, fuck off. <laughs> Don't try to blame this on us. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. Um, yeah, so I'll get us out of here. Uh, no, I haven't done anything. I, I We did Easter, and I had to go see my in-laws, and I haven't really been gaming at all, uh, actually, to speak of anything. I've been playing a lot of Madden and 2K because I've mm. been on the go with my handhelds and stuff. I played Madden on Game Pass. I did my fantasy draft and been doing that. And then I've been playing Madden. I mean, I've been playing 2K on the Switch, of all things. Because I got NBA 2K24. I got the Mamba edition for two ninety nine. dollars Great deal. On Switch for two, for three bucks. And I did a fantasy draft, which was the Switch can barely run the fantasy draft. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like the Switch can barely get through the fantasy draft. And like it barely runs, but like when you're in the game, it runs just fine. It's like That's everything good. else that it's trying to do, like barely runs on the on Switch. Long as um, gameplay is good. But yeah, like I did, a, I did my fantasy draft, and I've just been going through games of it, like just kind of passing time. I haven't even got to play Red Dead this week because I haven't had like a session, a dedicated moment to sit down and play. Um, so today, you play Modern Era, then I take it. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Today I got Chalfie Steam Deck, which has a new lovely home, and uh, I have already set it up and modded it and put all my ROMs and everything on it, and I've set up Emu Deck, and we are good to go. Um, so I made said it better down. than Chaffee ever hoped it could be. I was thinking that in my head. I was like, we're going to give you a good home. <laughs> now, now here's the thing. Shout out to Chaffee. This man sent me a steam deck that felt like it was brand new when I was opening it. Yeah. It came in the original box with the original sleeve. I opened it up. Like it wasn't like he didn't rip or tear anything when he took apart. I unzipped the case. Like it was the damn screen protector. I was like, did he even open this month? <laughs> like this nope, thing? No. This is he as didn't. nice as it was the day that I opened mine. Um, so, yeah. And then uh, Jack got home today because he was at the in-laws. We went up there Sunday night, left them there because they're in spring break, and they came back today. So when he came back, I was like, yo, here's a Steam Deck. And uh, he was like, for real? I was like, yeah. You said you wanted to get a PC gaming. Here's a PC gaming machine. That'll make it easier for you because you're not you know, used to all this stuff. I was like, I set it up with all of my ROMs that I have on my ally, and I showed him how to do it. I was like, here's how you, you know, navigate the dashboard. Here's how you can change FPS settings and do all the things. And uh, oh, I uh, I can talk about one thing. There's an app on here called XB Play. Okay. And XB Play is an app that you can down you can buy on the Steam Deck. It's in the store. You buy it. It's six ninety nine. And XB Play is X Cloud for your Steam Deck. It has its own like UI. So it does all that stuff for you. So you don't have to like go to desktop mode and get in the browser and save the bookmark and change the icon and do, you don't have to do any of that. You just buy this thing for $6.99, you open it, you put in your credentials, and then it is Xbox, X Cloud, and Remote Play, which is the extra thing. You can actually connect to your console and just play games remote play off your console for $6.99. The reason that it's worth the money is that it has clarity features that you can run on top of the stream. So you can run it in FSR or they have a high pass sharpness filter, which makes everything look nice and crisp and look like it's nice, nice 1080p. I played both X cloud and remote play in remote play. I was playing gears. I did notice a little lag in X cloud. I played Madden. I didn't miss a beat. That thing That's was great. running as every bit as good as it would run on my console. That got Jack excited because I was like, Hid, here's how you'll play Fortnite. Like, cause I bought the app for Jack because I knew he's not going to stick with anything if they can't play Fortnite for some time. Yeah. And I was like, so uh, I got him the, the X-Play app so he can play Fortnite. Uh, he can just c- connect to his console or uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but on xCloud, the Fortnite is on xCloud. You can just play Fortnite through xCloud if you want. So, um, uh, yeah, I showed him that, and he was all about it. So he's going to set it up again. His... It's called XB Play, is what XB it's called. XB Play. Yep. You just have your son set it up for you, Delvin. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to buy it now and have him set it up. It's not even like that's the thing. It's not even something. It's not even like hard to set up. Like that's not even a thing. Here's what. I don't know if it's going to snap into focus or not. It never does. Maybe. No. No. Um. Yeah, like when you open it up, it, it, it'll tell you like, hey, do you want to log in? You click log in, you put in your account. And then like you just have like a tile and it's like, do you want to play remote play? Do you want to play cloud play? And then when you open it up, it's got like touchscreen stuff. There are settings you can turn the touchscreen controls off or on. 
however you want to do it. But then there's also like the sharpness filters, and the sharpness filters make a world of difference. Okay. Because I don't know if you guys have ever played xCloud through the browser, the resolution is not that great. You know, like it's kind of fuzzy. So like the $7, because there's a lot of people like, why would I pay $7 when I can set up the same thing for free? Just know that it's not the same thing. Yeah, you can play xCloud for free and save $7, but it won't be as good, and you won't get as remote play. So I think Maybe that's I worth the, the 7 bucks. You know, if you want to get Game Pass on the Steam Deck. So I've been um I've been playing some stuff on it today, mostly just the ROMs and stuff. Um, I forget just kind of, or not even forget, you know, because I had one of these before I got the Ally. This thing is rather unwieldy. Like just the shape and the weight. Like I really do enjoy my Ally a lot more. Like in every facet of the of the experience, I think the Ally is better, except battery life. Like, if I could have the Steam Deck's battery life in the Ally, I'd be right at home. But, you know, it is what like it is. You, have, you got pros Steam and cons. Steam Deck 2 is going to be better. Just like a lot of... Like, I might need to... Yeah. I'm, I'm, like, I've always said, I'm really kind of hoping this, the Switch 2 is that for me. Like, just give mm. me the better Switch that's in this ballpark, and that's what I really... Like, at the end of the day, that's what I really want. Um, For me, the Steam Deck or the Ally is just an extension of my PC when I don't want to play my PC, um, which is not often because I don't, again, I don't want to turn into a tangent, but we didn't really talk about games we're playing. So I'll fill some time here. The thing that I've learned with these handheld PCs, the thing that I don't like about them is that I just don't think the experience of running games that were optimized for a certain spec of hardware, PCs or console, at the lowest possible settings you can run them at just to get them running on a handheld, I just don't think it's a good experience. Like, I feel spoiled by the Switch. Like, I want you, I want the developers to craft an experience built for the system. You know, like, when, I, when I'm when i playing the Switch, when I'm playing, like, Nintendo games on the Switch, I'm not like, God, I'm really playing the worst version of Kirby possible. But that's what it feels like when I'm playing, if I try to play Red Dead Redemption or call of duty or madden like natively on the steam deck i'm like boy i'm really tearing this thing down to its lowest possible common denominator just to warrant having this handheld yeah. like just to, <laughs> like just to make it run on this thing you know like i'm not sure like i played um i'll give you an example because i don't want to just like throw stones on it and again not everything is the same uh banishers i played banishers on my ally it was running pretty well 50 frames a second it was edgy and like crunchy and like not as fluid. It just wasn't right. Another game was like um, Lego 2K Drive, which I love. I really do enjoy that game. Doesn't feel right on the Ally at all. It runs like performance wise, decent 45, 55 FPS, but like didn't feel right to play. Like certain things when you when you do all the resolution settings and everything just to make it run, like it doesn't run like it's supposed to. Like that's where I feel like it. Like it doesn't run like it's supposed to. Where even in the Switch's case, when it runs games that like you know it probably has no like Doom. Doom Eternal has no business being on Switch, right? Correct. But the developers went through and did everything they could to make it as good as it can. That's what's missing from this handheld PC space. Nobody's doing that. They're literally just like, here's the version that runs on your 4090. Now you go in and lower every setting imaginable and see if it'll run on your handheld. And there are people that are like, this is great. But for a lot it's of the, the bigger, true PC experience, for a lot of the bigger games, like the bigger ones, because like in the indie space, it's great. Like the Steam Deck is a great machine if you want to play like Steam World Dig 2 or something. Like it's That's a fantastic experience. I'm not throwing that stone. But if you want to play like Red Dead Redemption 2 on your Steam Deck, which I don't even know if you can, but like I'm just... I know I can on the ally. If you wanted to play something like that, I would rather stream it. Because at least if you're streaming it, like you're getting a version of the game, like of, of what that game is supposed to be. You know, like Last of Us. Playing Last of Us Remastered on the Ally wasn't wasn't great. You know, and you got all these, you know, Steam Deckies, and I'm like, we can get it to 40 FPS if we run it in Proton 2 and compatibility later. I'm like, that's not what it's supposed to be, man. You're like running such a it just feels like this is this was always why for years I would talk on Nintendo Shack. And the reason why I never got into in the handouts. And I want to be clear, I'm throwing a lot of things out there like they're absolutes. This is my this is my opinion. 
There are a lot of people out there who don't give a fuck about this. Like I don't think Gar- I don't think Garrett's ever cared. Nope, me. I am the reason. The reason that I never got into handhelds, despite being such a big Nintendo fan for all so many years, is because when I played a DS or I played a GBA, it felt like such a lessened experience for my console. For always, if somebody give me their Game Boy, I'd be like, "Dude, you're fucking playing this. Have you played a GameCube?" Why are you playing this? <laughs> like, gaming can be so much better. It was like it was like you were handing me a calculator. I was like, "What are we doing?" Um, it wasn't until the 3DS where I was like, "Oh shit! Like, this is a good experience. Like, this is a different. It's a better experience, right?" Yeah. Um, and I'm starting. I felt that way with with the PCs, with the PC handles, both of them. I'm not. I'm not even pointing out the Steam Deck. Steam Deck, my ally, the same thing. It's like I play ally friendly games. I don't play everything I can play on my ally like my brand new big game that i'm buying i'm not playing that shit on the ally because i want to experience it at its best right but there are games there are you know double a games indie games there are smaller games that like run great on these things and an emulation of course and i do love them for that um but but uh, this is to bring it home this has been my like my grand realization in all of this is that i've just been feeling like it's really the switch Two that i want more than anything else I want an optimized experience. I want something that runs the games as best they can. Something the something the developer has developed for. Not here's the P here's 170 gigabytes of Call of Duty. Figure it out. <laughs> you know, like that's I don't want to do that anymore. I like it's like, no, I've almost come full circle back to my switch. I boot up Breath of the Wild, I'm like, man, this is great. I need more of this in the other space. And here's, well, not my counter, but my experience is the complete opposite of yours because, well, to answer Tara's question earlier, the battery life is like two to four hours on it. So I'm sorry, I must have missed that. Whose question? No, no, Tara was asking that question. What was the battery life on the Steam Deck and Ally? Oh, yeah. So this, on the Ally, if you're, it, it, it depends. Like It depends on the type of game you're running. If you're running a big AAA new release, you know, Final Fantasy 16 or The Last of Us or something on the Ally, if you're running at max settings, you're lucky to get an hour. I'm going to just be honest with you. You're lucky to get an hour. Which now, you can chop that down and cap it to 30 and make it smaller and run it at, you know, 60 hertz instead of 120, and you can maybe get maybe 90 minutes out of it. But you can also play, like, you know, Steam World Dig 2 for, like, three hours. On the Steam Deck, I think the battery is basically, like, double. Yeah. On the Steam Deck, you're going to get about double. On, like, on a, on a real big game on the Steam Deck, you might get two hours of battery life. But on a lot of games, you get closer to two and a half or three. Yeah. Because, see, the way I look at it, the way I use mine is like, hey, I use it to play experiences that I've already played that I just want to take with me on the go. Yeah. Yeah. I do that, too. No, that's what I do, too. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't like, you know, like, for the most part, I don't really buy new games on, on my, like, newish games. Unless it's like a PC exclusive game, I don't really buy that on my own Steam Deck. I buy stuff like Spider-Man because, you know, hey, I can play Spider-Man on the go now. If I go out of town, I want to play Spider-Man. Here you go. I can take it with me. I can yeah. probably take um, my Steam Deck on, what the damn thing called? The dock, take the dock with me and play it like mm-hmm. that and have a good quick quick game session in. Or if I want to play something that, because Steam, the Steam store is really good for horror games. There's a ton of horror games on there yep. that yep. I've never played that. Probably never no, no, no. See, you say you're the opposite, but we're more alike than you think. I play a, most of my time in Steam on these things are like boomer shooters and indie games. Like I'm not yeah. playing, I'm not playing Red Dead on my ally. Yeah, like <laughs> I don't want, I don't want to. It's like again, it's such a uh, a lesser experience. Like that's why I have this two thousand dollar rig. It's like yeah. I'll just do it on that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I- <laughs> only thing, like I said, only big games I play on my Steam Deck, like I said, it's probably Spider-Man or something I've already played again. I mean, even when I play those, it's not like for a long time. I usually play like the indie horror games or like a boomer shooter or something that I've never played before. Like, oh, this looks really cool to play on my Steam Deck. Yeah. And then those experiences kind of make it matter. Like, I love going to the Steam store and just seeing games I've never heard of. Like, what the fuck is this? And like, oh, is this coming out? And yep. it's some indie game that looks really cool and just... All right, it says coming soon. I guess I'm gonna wait for it. Oh, here's a demo. I can try it. Yeah, just playing a demo. Like, oh, this I can't wait till this come out. Then it never comes out. <laughs> that is a common thing. This is cool they, demo. They do eventually, but yeah, they do eventually. It just takes some time. But uh, I love Steam Deck. Yeah, yeah, cool. I, I like it too. I like. There's a lot of 
it's improved a lot since you remember I was day one on the Steam Deck. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's gotten a lot better. Like now having one now since then, like I like that you can now finally you can adjust the saturation of the screen and the brightness. So like you can dial that in a little bit and make it a little bit better. Um, that's nice because I have the LCD bottle. Stout, Chalfies was just the, it's not the OLED, it's the regular one. Yeah. And the screen of the regular one is not my favorite. It's not my favorite screen. Like the, the, the Ally screen is much better. Not a good um, screen. But, but now you can at least make it better than it comes stuck. That's an improvement. The Linux side of the house has gotten a lot better than it was day one. Like I can tell you that for sure. You know, so it's, 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 it's got a lot of, that's the cool thing about Steam Deck is there's a very dedicated community of people. That are constantly improving and working on it, like every every week. I think the Steam Deck might be my son's favorite console. Hmm. He like always on it. Like every time I look, he's on the Steam Deck, fixing stuff, playing stuff. He's just constantly on the Steam Deck. That's what, what I'm hoping for, Jack. I'm hoping Jack really gets into it. I think he might too. I think he, he might. Will. So sweet. Well, kind of like um, baby's first PC. That's what I'm. That's exactly why I bought it. Kind of, yeah. No, it's not. It's not baby's first PC because it's not a. No, it, it kind of no. is. Kind of. No, no, not at all. You're not, you know, actually doing PC stuff on it, so it's not baby's first PC. My son's on their editing podcast. <laughs> Why would you pick yeah, the worst that. possible? Yeah, that's I've that's like the, exact... the worst way to do that. Like I agree. I say, why are you doing that? He's like, because my computer's too slow. I'm like, well, you need to buy a new computer. Cause that... well, you get the man a computer. I bought right. Him. Damn, I, Delvin. I bought him two. And you know what happened to both of those computers? They broke. I'm like, absolutely not. I'm not buying you. The Steam Deck didn't? No, he didn't break the Steam Deck. So there you go. Yeah. There's something that, that said, 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 be said about Just, that, too. You know, take, take both laptops and combine them to make a better laptop. Hmm. Like, take the parts. Back. Let's figure it out, all right? Now the There's emulation be a PC support, repair store somewhere that you can do the, that. Like the emulation on. support on the Steam Deck is, you know, like the support for it is the best. There's so many things that are made just for the Steam Deck, right? Versus when we're the ally, everything's like either Windows based or PC based, and again, you're applying things that weren't built for it. You know, like on that side of the house, people are building things specifically for the Steam Deck, yep. which I do enjoy a lot. It's really cool. Yeah. Really cool system. Yeah, it is. I want more of them. So, oh, you're gonna get them. I think that's a good business for for yeah. Valve. That is one of the few things that I would I would day one buy a Steam Deck two. Like, hey, here's Steam Deck two. Like, all right, I'm on. My only res reservation has been like, damn, I gotta like buy like a new um card to put into it. And, like, I had to do that today as well. One of my old cards that I just had in a drawer. I threw it in. I was, I was getting all kinds of issues trying to copy files and stuff. Yeah. I was like, I, I need a new SD card, so I had to break down and buy new ones today. Uh, I do want to. I'll get on my soapbox and we can move on with the news. You know, for months and for the better part of a year, Mike Minotti, who likes the Ally, and Jeff Grubb, who's Steam Butt Stack Stan. I had to listen to Jeff go on and on about how he doesn't like the Ally because he doesn't like navigating Windows to set up with these emulators and stuff. Yeah, like, dude, the Steam Deck is no like great experience navigating the steam deck like i really appreciate how the ally has so many shortcuts it may just be because i've learned them right the ally does make navigating windows about as good as you could want on a controller right you can use the sticks for the mouse you can use the triggers for the clicks um, it's got all these shortcuts to open up the taskbar to close a program to go back to the desktop minimize windows and when you start doing it like i get like like we all were like in 360 PS3 gen where we were navigating keyboards and windows and shit with our controllers like it was nothing. That's how I feel like when I'm on the when I'm on the ally. When I was on the Steam Deck today and the Steam the Steam thing is like you gotta hold the Steam button and press the X thing to get the keyboard up. You tap the screen to get the thing. And I was like, oh God. I, I literally was like, let me just get a USB hub and plug in a mouse and keyboard. Like, like I'm not doing all this shit. <laughs> So I would like to say that because I listen to him often. He often brings up it. I think with Jeff, his big thing is he doesn't like sometimes when you have to log into something and the keyboard comes up and it sits over the window you're trying to log into. Like you're still typing into it, but he hates that apparently. Like that's a big pet peeve for him. Um, I think on the Steam Deck, when the keyboard comes up, it smushes everything up so you can still see it while you type into it. And I think that's the like the one come up that he, he really enjoys. So. 
Here's the question from I can't see. He says, do games just work on the deck like a console or do you have to get games to work? No, they don't. Here's the thing, because that often you would think, and a lot of people do, that anything that you get on the Steam Deck, anything on Steam just runs on the deck. And that's just not true. No. A lot of games in your Steam library just don't work. <laughs> they just don't. There's a lot of them that are just not supported. Then there's a lot of them that like you can boot into, but a lot of things about them won't work. Like they're not really compatible. Then there's the verified and approved games on Steam that developers have either gone through and made updates and they've made it work with the Steam Deck. Um, when you're on the Steam Deck, it's very easy to know which is which because when you look at your game, some of them have a green symbol, which means they're good to go. Some have a yellow symbol, which means like maybe you've got to map controllers or maybe you've got to figure it out or maybe you've got to change some settings. Um, and then you've got unsupported ones that are red that like... They don't even know if this thing will boot. And if it does boot, it, it's almost guaranteed to not run very well. Um, and I, that was my issue with the Steam Deck the first time, is there were several games that I was looking forward to playing that just didn't run very well on the Steam Deck that you would, and that were like not big games that you would thought would be fine. Like PGA Tour. I remember that was the one I was playing PGA 2K. And on the Steam Deck, it was terrible. It was worse than the Switch. <laughs> it was like oh. this. Yeah, it was like, this is, what's the point? I just bought this six hundred dollar handheld. It can't even do the thing my Switch could do, yeah. um, and that's the other part of it. It is still PC, as much as they have made it console, console ish. It's only console ish. There are games where you've got to get in there and you got to limit the battery or limit the frame rate or set the TDP just right. You've got to. There are settings that you got to play play with to optimize the gaming experience. It doesn't just work. Like it doesn't, like, you don't just press the game and you're playing it as good as you could because the developer sat there and made it work for that console. It isn't that. Now, with its success, I do think a lot of PC developers are trying to make sure that their game is good to go on Steam Deck as much as they can. Yes, yeah, it's gotten a lot better. Since it it is. I'm like, especially in the indie space, I think you're totally fine. Yeah. On the indie side, you'd be totally good. But on the AAA side, it's hit or miss. Yeah. Yeah. It's um I would say you can I would say probably like forty percent, fifty percent of the games kind of work on Steam, on the Steam Deck. I'll tell you. I mean there's a good amount because even some of the games that say unsupported work. Now how it's, good it works is varies, but there's some that work. Sometimes you have to adjust like so for, for listeners that aren't Tara just asked, in your experience, what is the ratio of games that work on the deck versus the ones that don't? And she says it like a drastically different number. Well, let me, here's the cool but, thing um, is I can tell you this quickly. So in my library, I own 753 games on Steam. <laughs> Jesus. Out of that so 753, 260 are rated great on deck. So they're like verified they're the best of the best that you can get on the deck out of my 700 games almost 300 of them are like these are really good now again that's not all of steam but like yeah. i have a pretty big library and if that's what my library is i think that's you're probably gonna be somewhere in that same ratio yeah. and right like one out of three something like that and the key to it is like it, it, that's great one's great now, you can, like, I would say the games, that your ratio could be even worse if you have more AAA style games. Yes, I have a shit ton of indie games and smaller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, I that is like the thing that I do on Steam all the time is I'm constantly buying ten, fifteen, twenty dollar games. Always fanatical bundles, boomer shooters, platformers, horror games, indie games, walking sims. Like that's my jam. So you might be right there, but to Dev to Delvin's point. I do have a lot of games that aren't included great on deck that you could probably run just, you know, good enough. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm looking at, um, I went to grab one. I'm looking at Metal Hellsinger. I've never played it on deck. I would imagine Metal Hellsinger runs fine on deck. It's labeled as playable. It's playable. It's not great on deck. It's listed as playable. And usually when they list them as playable, that usually means... It has either like I've often found that means it has like some sort of dependency with either controller mapping or something like that that you've got to figure out how to get working. Yes. Also, yeah. something that Donnie brought up, 
inadvertently, but I think it's a good point. A lot of these games, you can get cheap as fuck. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. You can go on like Humble Bundles. Yep. You can go on plenty of websites and buy these games for very cheap, like 10 games for $10. Crazy numbers of games. Yep. So you can take oh, a chance. Here's, here's one. Um, Fatal Frame. Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. Right, that's the Suda Fifty One written Fatal Flame game. The remaster came out last year. Um, you would think that that would run fine on deck. It's completely unplayable. It won't even, and it says that from the start. It's like don't even play this. Compatibility unsupported. Yeah. And so, the, and the great thing about Steam is they will tell you, like, like the Steam reviews will tell you something don't work on there. Well, that that whole red, green, yellow system, yeah. they applied that to all of Steam, whether you have a deck or not. So if you open up Steam on your PC and you buy a Steam game, it's going to tell you whether or not it runs on deck yeah. well or not before you even buy it. So yeah. it is, and they have the best refund policy in the business. Yes. You know, so like if that's a if that's a worry for you, I wouldn't be too worried about it because if it doesn't work, you just get your money back. Yeah. No harm, Which no is fact. a lot more than you could say for the Switch. Can't do that on Switch. <laughs> don't run on Switch. It just don't run. I that was actually play. one of the things that I liked most about the Ally is that the Ally is just PC. It's Windows. It's not Linux. So if you can run it, it's going to run on the Ally. Like, if it runs, it's going to run on the Ally. And one of the cool things that... Um, that uh, what What's the overlay? I can't remember what it's called anymore. What's the overlay? That's Proton. On top of the Ally? Proton. What is it? No, Proton is on the Steam Deck. Yeah, Steam that's Steam Deck. Day. What's the one on the, on the Ally? Ally? No clue. Uh, I completely I forget what it's called. It's something... Shit, I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, I'll try to explain it. On the Ally, there's a like it's not an OS, but there's like a compatibility layer that lays on top of it that like sets your controls and sets all your settings. And it has like a little launcher that you can launch your games from. With the Ally, if there's a game that let's say it's not supported like gamepad controls, on the Ally, you can set it to auto detect and it'll just map all of the the controller bindings to the ally controls like it's a mouse and keyboard yes and and to you the player you're still using your face buttons and triggers and stuff you don't know any different but the the system thinks you're pressing all the keys and stuff you're supposed to be pressing instead so that's one of the cool things i do like about the ally and having both and having both can give you the pros and cons of each one on the ally i don't think i've ever ran into anything that doesn't work on the ally you could run a damn rts on the ally if you wanted to (laughs) <laughs> you have some keyboard like <laughs> it is just a windows machine he doesn't know any different it's just a matter of whether or not you can actually run the game yeah. if the gpu can run the game you can play it so i do like that about it there's less thought about it that way great system nice <laughs> yep all right well there was all your insight on portables and handhelds yeah i didn't Johnny... need to go down that route uh before we jump into the news uh, JV did tell me that he's having connection issues. Yeah. So he's, he's just going to call it quits. We'll try it again. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, his building has some kind of um, contract with Spectrum. So he just has Wi Fi in his building. It's not even necessarily uh-uh. like a router that he has that runs. And, that's not like, good at all. No. That. And it, apparently, it didn't start out that way, but that's what happened. He's like, I got to call Spectrum and figure out something else because that ain't going to work. <laughs> Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, um, so getting into the news, um, Helldivers kicks off the week. So they have a bunch of news. Once they had an update that came out that added blizzards and sandstorms to the map, as well as increased the level cap from 50 to 150. Um, there's lots of balance and gameplay tweaks. Hours after claiming Malevolent Creek back, players spotted massive cloaked gunships above the... Terminator automaton, worlds. automaton, and um, <laughs> Dev says the Terminators have goddamn AT-AT walkers and flying fun ships. Um, and then Dev, you posted today that people are getting like capes or whatever for, to honor. Yeah, so you know, we, we lost the creek, we took it back, and we lost a lot of hell divers. I get a creek at the creek, so there's a special cape in honor of Malevolon Creek. You know, we, we finally have it. It's ours. And you have a cape to, to honor those who, who laid down their lives to take back the creek. Lay down that pip cape. Yeah. For now. It's our Normandy, basically. That's basically what it boils down to. Yeah. 
Except, happen, except we didn't lose works. Normandy. You're going to lose that creek again. No, no, we 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 own it. It's been 100 percent neutralized. It's ours. I don't think it's ours. For now, I don't think you know what Normandy is, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Sours. All right. This is our Normandy. No, it's not. <laughs> not, even, um, not even a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, that 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 patch was awesome. It was an awesome patch. There's lots of oh my god. The game just our keeps, whole PlayStation channel is just hell divers now. Yes, it's it a real live ass you know, live game. I try, it's I try to post things, and it's just buried and held. I'm like, ah, oh, just never mind. Good luck with that. <laughs> Yeah. I do that on purpose. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's won't purposely be done. <laughs> Nobody post- wants to talk about PlayStation. They just want to talk about Hell Destiny 2 room. stuff. We, nobody cares about Destiny. Don't post that. Nobody wants. Nobody it wasn't wants just that. that. No, it was just any news. Any news. I posted yeah. a couple like updates. He posted on, like, PlayStation with games or, Yeah, like in. <laughs> nobody just, nobody ever really replies to that. Nobody, nobody cared. Nobody cared. Nobody replies. It's just like, all right, well, PlayStation Hell 6 is what we're here <laughs> what do we care? Yeah, <laughs> what do we care? Places give me in debt. Who cares? Who cares? Um, we got a Game Pass update. Super hot. Mind Control Delete. You can play uh, right now, as well as Lego 2K Drive. Do you know that I bought that game like four weeks ago I remember. on Xbox? I remember because I bought it months ago on on PC. Like I said, it's not great on PC. So there was a sale for the Game of the Year edition or whatever. The one that has all the DLC it was twenty bucks. Like two or three weeks ago, and I bought it, mm. and the hell if it didn't just show up in Game Pass. I was you like, still got oh. a good deal for it, though. I still got all the DLC. Like, yeah. I'm not upset about it. I still got all the DLC. I mean, it's, it's not like it's not going to leave Game Pass at some point. Like it yeah. probably will leave. So I do you, like you that game. You didn't pull a Delvin, so you're fine. I, I do like that game. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Um, tomorrow you can play a little Gator game and EA Sports PGA Tour. Don't play that. The game sucks. <laughs> um, you can play Kona Botany Manor, Kona and Botany Manor on the 9th. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the Definitive Edition, comes on the 11th. Great game. And then Delvin, the game we talked about on Shaq, the Harold Halibut game, hits Game Pass on the 16th. Okay. Day one lunch. That game looks pretty fun. Like I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to try that on Game Pass at some point. Speaking yeah. of other subscription services, uh, PlayStation Plus non-essentials, Tales of Kinzera Zao launches into the non-essential tiers on the 23rd. Uh, it has a Swahili voice option That's cool. um, for those that want to listen to that that voiceover. And then Dave the Diver also jumps into the non-essential tiers on the 16th. That's so when I'll try Dave have, the Diver. If you have one of the non-essential tiers, you can get those two games uh, uh, at lunch. My son's super excited for Tales of Zero. Yeah. That game looks awesome. It looks great. Yeah. 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 I just, I'm going to wait, like I've always said, because it's EA. It'll come. It'll come. I just got to be <laughs> strong. It'll, it'll arrive. Looks like I'm waiting on Avium. It'll come dead last, but it will. Like They have no choice. It will go into the vault. Yeah. <laughs> so I will wait to play it. Um, but I look, I look forward to it. It does look really good. And if it's half as good as, and I mean it, if it's half as good as Persia was, you're in for a treat. If it's every bit as good as Persia was, like, watch out. Wow. Yeah. And it's, is it unfair that like ever since we've ever saw them that we compare the two like it's really strange that we have two such similar games of similar looks similar styles even you know they look like they've copied each other's homework at some point did we kind of get that last year with dead space and um the other one Callisto, Callisto. Callisto, yeah no nah, i think they're I, I get what you're saying these two i think share a little bit more dna than that like, like they it, really yeah. look like they cop like the style looks the same. The style dudes look very similar. Yeah, it looks very similar. Very like similar. It, it really weirds me out that like two developers in different places of the world could be both be co-developing a game at the same time and they come out looking like that close to each other. It's like what happened here? Something happened. Did you see what they were doing decide to do it or like who influenced who here? Like I know something happened. Somebody cooked here. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> But stuff doesn't just happen by coincidence. Yeah. Um, but here's the thing. It reminds me of when 95 South came out with Whoop, There It Is. Then the 69 Boys came out with Whoop, There It Is. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing, though. We haven't played Kinzera, so maybe it's different. Like Maybe it is actually different. Like that, I would be willing to bet that like that's probably it more than anything. 
maybe it's actually different when you get your hands on it. It's just different. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Looks good. It does. It does. I've yeah, I've thought that since the first time I saw it. Um, Hollow Knight Silk Song um, stood up an Xbox Store page this week uh, on April first. Um, yeah, April first was this week, so you had to watch what you were seeing, yeah. what you were tweeting that day. Uh, but this is real. There has always been a Switch page and a PlayStation page, but there wasn't an Xbox page until April first. Also deepening the well, uh, the game was rated in Korea, like the week before, kind of quietly. So finally coming out, huh? Yeah, it looks like this is coming out. Okay. Now we just don't know when. Maybe it's stealth dropped Summer Games Fest. Maybe it's come out sooner than then. Maybe it's at a different event. Um, the Silk Song is supposed to hit all consoles and PC, and supposed to launch in the Game Pass. I, if I believe, if mm. I remember correctly, this goes back to. Did an Xbox? There was that uh, E3 show. I want to say two E3s ago. Maybe it was three. There was an E3 show where Xbox was like every game you see today is coming out in the next year. Yes. And I think they were all Game Pass games, and I don't think any of them came out. And not <laughs> only did not only did, it was this there, like I think Silk Song was a part of that. I don't think any of those games came out. Um, but yeah, I think Silk Song. I think Silk Song is supposed to come into Game Pass and uh, Switch, PlayStation, all those other things. I don't know. We'll find out. Should be a big day when it happens. Yeah, Anybody yeah. Gonna be very excited. No. no. I'm not going to play it either. It hurts me to say that. I was so infatuated with that art style when I first saw Hollow Knight. Like, I was sure that was going to be, like, my favorite game ever. And then it completely broke me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, never mind. I think uh, I played it for all of about 30 minutes. I was like, yeah. That's so gorgeous, but not for me. Not my type of game. Yeah. But it's my type of game. I just I don't know. It's on Switch, so that's what made me lose interest. Oh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Yeah, I mean it, it is, but I have it on Switch. I'm not gonna rebuy it anywhere else. Mm. I'm good. Oh, there you go. Mm. Well, people who've been wanting this and been hooping and hollering for this game so long, support it. Make sure you buy it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I asked for it. <laughs> Eternal Strands was announced this week. It comes from Yellow Brick Games, which is led by Dragon Age veteran Mike Laidlaw. Should be coming out next year. This is the um, Shadow Colossus Zelda E game that I posted in the Discord earlier this week. Oh, that looks it's interesting. Pretty, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think it looks pretty dope. It definitely reminds you of um, was the Ubisoft game Phoenix. It's definitely got like Phoenix vibes. Phoenix Rising, Immortal. Yeah. It's like Phoenix of the Colossus is really what they look like. Because <laughs> yeah. it, it looks like that game, and it looks like it has like the same physics powers of those games, but it's like a giant killer. Like you go fight these gigantic monsters. You know, I don't know if you're going to be like going around doing puzzles and shrines and stuff. It didn't, didn't sh show anything like that in the trailer. You know, it's just like, no, you're just going to go fight this gigantic beast. So looks good. Looks good. And then... um former Dead Cells developers unveiled Windblown, which is a new action roguelike game that I posted about today, which also looks good. And if you weren't paying any attention, you could possibly confuse these two games for being the same. The style's very similar, very colorful, whimsy, you know, that Zelda palette, if you will. But this does look like a Dead Cells game. Um, you know, it's kind of like top-down and whatnot. It's not like the open-world um, third-person that the, the other game is. But I like this news. That's the reason I put it in here. Terrible it's news. been a minute since we've had like some notable new game announcement news instead of Good news. studio closure. <laughs> I was like, yes, yeah. let's do more of this. Let's look at more announcements. Um, these are developers that have good pedigree. And they make good games. So put those on your radar. Um, EA College Football was officially dated this week by Kirk Herbstreet on a podcast on ESPN. I'm sure EA doesn't appreciate it, but they asked him when the game was coming out. Instead of him saying, I don't know, it wasn't announced or anything, he said, July. The game's coming out in July. <laughs> so <laughs> it's not that like I knew it was coming out in July. If you follow the rumors and follow the podcast, we've said I've said it before that's probably coming out in July, but 
uh, you know, there's still marketing beats and stuff like this. And I know I don't think he was supposed to say that. But uh, yeah, if you were like, hey, when's the NCAA game come out? You'll be able to play EA College Football 25 this July. Get excited. It's it's real. It's real. It's happening. Right? Finally. Good. It's not coming, it's not coming to PC. Yeah. We need and that, that hurts. Yeah, I know. I know Maybe we did I... know that. They, there's Maybe every day I... there's a Reddit thread like, so is it coming to Steam? And I'm like, I hate to tell you guys, no, I don't think it is. Nope. No, they're going to do it for that. They're going to do what Rockstar did. It'll come to Steam like maybe a year, year and a half later, I think. I you think. get college football 25 when college football 26 launches on console. I'm not even certain EA will even put it on Steam. But if they do, I think it'll come later. But I'm not even certain they don't just skip it all together. The only thing that gives me any hope is that EA's been really good in the last few years. Like everything they do comes to Steam. You know, they've been doing a lot of Steam. Like, the, you know, they really kind of, they still have their own launcher, but like they don't focus on it. Like they put their games on Steam now. So I don't know. I was hoping Didn't it would even be there. that. I was really hoping it would be there. But it saves me money now because it means I'll just buy the Xbox version. Because if there was two versions, I would have bought them both. That's a game I would have bought both <laughs> by day one. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to that. The CEO of Sabre, newly purchased independence, told IGN that, that KOTOR remake is alive and well. I don't believe him at all. <laughs> <laughs> not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. It's not yeah, real. At least it's not Aspire. You know, I give them some kind I mean, of that. Is it? Does it matter? I feel like they're the same place. It's the same. No, person. they're not. No, Sabers. Sabers pretty good. They're not. They're not are Aspire. They? Don't be. Don't be doing. Don't be doing Saber type thing. that. No, they're same not. Thing. That's 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 slanderous. Yeah, you're not <laughs> to Saber's name to be compared to. I'm Aspire. here for the slander. It's slander. I'm slandering don't it on purpose. Sabers, Aspire, you know, the same thing. Yeah. I was Ooh, so hyped thing. for the remake. Nah, y'all not gonna get my hopes up. Fuck that. Yeah. I don't want to be disappointed. <laughs> I don't believe when it's on shelves. Prepare for disappointment. It's always smart. Ubisoft announced today that they will have their summer forward. Boy, I keep yawning. I tell yeah, you, it's the earbuds. That, Every time I put the earbuds, the earbuds in. You yeah, I feel the same way like on planes and stuff. Like I feel like I need to pop my ears. Interesting. And, uh, yeah. Um, Ubisoft forward will... will happened this summer like it's happened every summer for the last 10 summers um they confirmed it'll be on june 10th as a part of summer games fest so we'll That's find cool. out what if anything ubisoft is cooking and just uh, show us star wars outlaws that's all we need to see that's yeah cool. it really looks like there's a good possibility that we get that game and a creed game from them this year i don't need to see creed just show me Outlaws. i don't i don't think we'll see far cry but I, I do think Far Cry's coming like next year. I just don't think we'll see it right away. Maybe they tease it, but I feel like maybe they hold that. Because don't they do like in the last couple years, haven't they done like multiple Ubisoft forwards? Like they do like the summer one and they do like one in the fall or something like that. And they do another one. Hmm. Time is a flat circle. I can't remember anything at this point. Maybe. If, if maybe that's, that's true, okay. and my memory's right, I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe if they have Creed and they've got something else we're about to talk about. Maybe they hold Far Cry for one of those other events. Game Awards. And just give it a little Game Awards. I was thinking the same thing. Maybe they do something like that. Um, and then speaking of that, there are rumors going around that the actual Dead Cells developer, Evil Empire, is reportedly working on a rogue version of Prince of Persia for Ubisoft that is supposed to hit early access this summer. So huh. I imagine the rumors are breaking because people are testing it. Um, there's more to this rumor. Apparently they've been working on this game since 2019. Um, Ubisoft and Evil Empire apparently got together at the game developers conference and came up with this plan. It's been on development since then. So you're about to get Dead Cells, Prince of Persia. And the only thing I wanted to say is, fuck, man, Prince of Persia's having a moment. <laughs> yeah. Like, all of a sudden, we get one great Prince of Persia game. And we're like, man, this is great Prince of Persia back. And suddenly, we're about to get five Prince of Persia games. Apparently, <laughs> like hey. Ubisoft's really doing some shit for Prince of Persia. Hopefully, some of them sell. Because apparently yeah. we can get all the Prince of Persia in the world, but they just don't sell. Like I'm interested naturally. to know what that number is. We'll get numbers from Ubisoft with their next thing. And we only had to go off of like that three week after launch number that we don't even know how correct it was. But since then it's been on sale a lot. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if it's been something I've brought up on Shack a lot. Uh, this isn't like a a fucking you know a thoughtful take. 
I think there's a better than not chance that a lot of people just don't consider Metroidvania as a full price video game. With like the Hollow Knights and the shit that's come out in the indie space, like I'm just wondering if a game like Prince of Persia just appeals more to more people at $29.99 at $19.99 than it does at $59.99. But I mean, it wasn't even $59.99. It was like $39.99. I know, but you know what I'm saying. Like I'm just wondering if when the price comes down, did it does it did it pick up any steam at all? That's all. I'm I'm hoping it did. I don't know it did. I'm not pro, I'm not projecting that it, that it did. I'm just saying I've said this about Metroid for years. I just don't think because the indie space has cranked out so many good versions of this, I've been wondering if more and more fans are like, I'm not going to pay forty, fifty, six, seventy dollars for this sort of game. This sort of game I get at the twenty, thirty dollar level. Maybe. I think that's ridiculous. But it's also a Ubisoft game, so you know it's going to go on sale three there's weeks after. Part of, there's another out. part of that as well. How many people like Rebecca was like, I'll wait? Because that was her from the get-go. Mm -hmm. She was like, I'll wait. And uh, I imagine a lot of people thought that too. So like now that it's been on sale for a little while, because I think you've been able to buy that game everywhere for 30 now. Um, yeah. I'm hoping it found some people. Like I, I It would be bad for the video game industry if prince of persia as game as good as it is sells less than a million copies that would not be good that would be like bad. they also like, make it seem like if games don't sell in like the first week all the sales after that don't matter like it's always like it doesn't matter how long the tail is if games continue to sell if they don't do it in that first week it's catastrophe which is just like why because they take like, a loss when they discount it like i get that you're right that's not everybody Right, that's dev to dev. That that varies. I don't feel like Ubisoft does that a whole lot, but you're right. A lot of other developers do. You know, like they're not going to shut down studios because Persia didn't sell maybe the way they wanted to. I don't think Ubisoft's going to do that. EA will, and EA did. Also, Prince of Persia probably didn't cost half as much as like Avium. Like what you just said, the first thing that came to mind was Avium. Avium did not crank it out of the gate. They shut the studio down before it could even find an audience. Because they yeah. probably spent $200 million making that game. And Persia probably cost half that, if that. If that. Probably less yeah. than that. So, yeah. But you're right. There, There is a lot of that, especially at the publisher level. We hear a lot of that from, like, what, Square? You know, mm -hmm. we hear a lot of that from them. Square never can hit a goal. It never happens. Nothing. Nothing hits their end of predictions. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's Wilson. Um, there's a lot of buzz floating around for a PlayStation event in May. I want to use this opportunity to kind of correct it. Some of it, there are rumors that a PlayStation event is coming in May. Like we are starting to get into Nintendo Direct territory with these shows of PlayStation. It's like part of me it's like no shit, there's one happening in May. There was one that happened last year in May. Like, that's pretty predictable. Um, the rumor got started when Jeff was like, there might be one in May. He was saying that he was more saying that I think there's a lot of buzz that Silent Hill is about to come out. Like ratings, stores are popping up and stuff like that. There's a lot of buzz around the Silent Hill remake. And I think Jeff was being like, yeah, if that's coming soon, announcing it with PlayStation makes sense and they could probably do something in May. People took that as there's an event happening in May. The first time Jeff spoke to this, that's not what he said. He was more or less saying that there are games that need to get dated and he thought some of them had homes at PlayStation. Uh, Metal Gear, right? Silent Hill. Mm. There's things out there like this. Um, he has since kind of come back and almost doubled down on it. He has said, yeah, we're starting. I'm starting to see and hear buzz that there is something happening in May. There's somebody that I don't know on Reset Era that apparently has half a good track record who did say there's one happening in May. So there's buzz going around on Reddit, and I'm sure everyone <coughs> can win. PlayStation is having an event in May. If you're wondering what they might show, Death Stranding, Silent Hill. Metal Gear, probably one of the games that they have in development that we don't know about. What's the what's the live service one that's supposed to come out this year? I, I forget. Concu Concord Fair Games, Fair Games, something like that. Probably something like that. Maybe one of those. Maybe a Ghost, if that's a thing. People keep saying Ghost. I've been hearing for a year that Ghost is coming out. Ghost Two. I've seen no yeah. evidence to support that Ghost Two is anywhere near coming up. Like not whatsoever. one good credible rumor that's like ghost 2 is almost done like we've seen it we've touched it 
nothing like that just ghosts everybody just keeps saying ghosts ghosts is the next one so maybe it's ghost who knows i don't this one i'm not expecting it but who knows maybe it is ghost um but yeah it looks like playstation's about to uh make an announcement which should get people very excited you've got um stellar blade did you play the stellar blade any of you, you guys play the demo no i would not have that time hmm. when does that game come out does it come out in may april no, 26th april. okay late april yeah so that's good mm -hmm. I'll just wait. In. is there anything on the calendar after stellar blade nothing i can think of nope so there you go yeah it makes sense they should have a showcase in may <laughs> like they got to start announcing some things, start selling some consoles. So, yeah, that all checks out. Maybe they, maybe that's when we get our PlayStation Five Pro announcement. Possibly. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I got nothing on my list at all for PlayStation for the rest of the year. <laughs> there was a rumor. Well, I don't know if it's a rumor. Wasn't that uh, the the leak said that Insomniac may have that DLC coming out this year? I forgot about that. Yeah, no, that DLC should be. I don't know soon. I don't know if I'll say soon, but yeah, like we're we're now entering the window where it could be announced. Let's just put it that way. It yeah. Could be could be shown. Be dated this fall. Could just be shown in tease with no date. But we are getting in the in the window where they could show some stuff for Spider Man. That makes sense. Yeah, that'd be a great showcase. Like if we got half of Death Stranding and a date, Silent Hill and a date, Concord Fair Games, some DLC for Spider Man. There's a couple third party games. There's another RPG from Square. Like you, you're fucking off to the races. That's great. Yeah, yeah, it's a good show. You're good to go. PlayStation Five Pro. Would they do that in a state of play or a PlayStation showcase? Would they do hardware? Have they done any? Have they done any hardware? Like was the Portal announced like that or anything like that? I, I feel like all their. Was. I feel like all their hardware announcements were on their own. But again, I'm not that in tune to the PlayStation stuff. But I feel like they all had like their own day. Yeah, yeah, I think the place. Is, yeah, I think they did have their own day. They just kind of like they were kind of doing it Nintendo style. They were like, "Here's a trailer. We're fucking making a handheld." <laughs> like, um, yeah, the portal was just like a blog announcement with yeah, yeah, a YouTube trailer. Yeah. But I maybe think the pro, the pro was more than that. I think the pro. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking. Maybe I'm confusing just the 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 regular PS4 announcement. PS5 or PS5 was announcement an actual with announcement. Cerny. Yeah. I can't see this was a service game marathon. Marathon's from Bungie. Is that due this year? There was never a date. Yeah, I think it's next year. Because they're still working on Destiny, right? The, the DLC? Yeah, the Destiny stuff. That also might be a PlayStation showcase because that comes out uh, in June. Good call. Yeah. And yeah. they could also show the Ghost of Tsushima for PC, which launches in the middle of May. So that could also be at the showcase. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's good. They're like, ah. Here's Ghost of Shishima. We are working on part two. No date, no nothing. Here's a 32 second trailer. <laughs> yep. They just show a sword. Sounds like a good show. I'm not going to lie to you. Maybe I'm missing something. I feel like I've watched four or five PlayStation showcases, and if half of what we just conjured up was one, I feel like that may be the best one yes. that I've seen. <laughs> like that sounds like a really good show a lot of the shows are like here's one really cool game and five other that nobody really cares about that is correct you know so that sounds like it'd be a deep like a and i'm not, not that i'm excited about those games like i wouldn't be excited about death stranding but death stranding 2 is a big game for the platform like i get it here's foam stars that's it right yeah like that's it like you know that's that's what i typically associate with these so not just foam stars but games like foam so like yeah. games like that this just games. Off my screen. <laughs> games that came out and went and that nobody remembers and nobody will ever talk about again. What you know? was that car game they had? That was like that. No, no, no. That one I actually am excited to play. Pacific Drive? No, 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 no. That no. one. There was a the one that should have been Twisted Metal. Exactly. Oh shit! Yeah, you're game. right. That live server they launched in Destruction the Destruction All Stars. Ever, yeah. Never, nobody ever played it again. Nobody played it. <laughs> there, there's Strike Two on the launch day and date in the plus. <laughs> like that's okay. not. Can't that's actually not a system. <laughs> this is start, starting to not be a good connotation. Yeah. It's like this Treat game this is game. so bad, we're just going to give it to you. Treat this game like a U2 album. <laughs> Get this shit right oh. off my system. <laughs> Damn. I, I ain't asked for this shit. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. John32 says for Delvin. Nope. 
Absolutely not. Avatar DLC. <laughs> Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Nah. It's coming to PlayStation Plus, Delvin. Get excited. Yep, nope. just for you. It's the yep. Delvin edition. Still not playing it. <laughs> and uh, with that, that's the news. So Rude Days is taking uh, the week off. He said, uh, the final boss, the Rude, is having a lot of overtime right now. So the Rude is taking the week off. But let the Rude tell you, the Rude is listening to the Crybabies at Young Blood of the Vertical PS4. That'd be me. And uh, the Rude will take the crying into consideration. You should. So basically he's saying, fuck you, Delvin. No more of this nonsense to try to catch you up. No. He shouldn't take his whining and crying and bitching into consideration. You're muted, Donnie. <laughs> yeah, you're muted. You pulled a Delphin. Sorry. <laughs> I love the I love that he just refers to himself as the rude. This is great. <laughs> Listen to the rude, the rude's gonna talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Call yourself the young blood. I want you to listen to you. <laughs> It's fantastic. So, yeah. <sighs> no uh, over-unders this week. Uh, Delvin, you're spared. Don't you live to fight another now. day. Don't yeah. worry. Next time when I'm out here, it's going to be like 20. <laughs> You've ended the beatdown. Yeah. All right. Question time. Smoking Joe says, what's one game that you loved as a younger human that doesn't hold up? He says younger human because he's pretty sure video games hadn't been invented when Delvin was Delvin a kid. Delvin's answers God damn it. No. Hope you had a good birthday, Delvin. Delvin answers jump rope, marbles. <laughs> Jack, stick and ball. Stick and ball. We'll just kick oh, the can. Man. Kick the can. He's like, you can say the <laughs> kick the can game isn't that good anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if I have a good one when it comes to mind, but I'll tell you this. I was really excited for Medieval to come back because I loved that game. I had the demo disc and shit when I was younger on the PlayStation. And then we got the remaster and I was like, oh, this isn't good, though. <laughs> like, it's like, this isn't good at all. And the reason I remember that is this is exactly what Kyle told me was going to happen. Kyle was like, hey, Donnie's excited about this game. I don't, I don't think he should be. And then I got it and he was right. Just my rose colored glasses. Like, oh, this game just sucks. <laughs> like, yeah, It's not very good by today's standards, is it? No, I don't yeah. even remember it being good by uh, back then standards. I liked it back in the day. Yeah. Hmm. I don't have an answer for this. But siphon Maybe because would that would count. Does siphon filter hold up? No, it does not. I don't think it does right. either. Does driver still hold up? I think driver holds up. I thought driver was trash when it was back in the day. Driver's fun. This man, he was just it? hates everything. It was fun. I had driver. I was like, this is this is not. I've never liked Crash. It. I've never liked Crash either. I've always thought Crash was trash. Unless it, it's kart. It is. Crash kart racers are great. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a Nintendo one. It's going to be fair. Or an Xbox. All the Nintendo games hold up. Oh, I don't think people like hearing this. I don't. I don't think the Fable holds up the, all that well. The Fable Anniversary, the original Fable. Oh, people have asked me for a long time, like, "Oh, should I just play Anniversary because it's the remaster?" People think you should start there, and I always tell them no. Play Fable Two or play Fable Three, um, because they're just better. They're like more modern games. They feel better, you know. But I I'm maybe on the outs on that one. I think a lot of people do like Fable. I have an answer. But it's because everything else is so great, it doesn't hold up. Super Mario Brothers. The OG? Yeah. Hmm. I it's can see. Good. I think I see what you're going, but I, it's. I think you're right. It is overshadowed because how all good, the other ones are so good. Like, I get you, but like it, it's not that it's I still, still Mario think, Brothers. I still, it still holds up. I'm sorry. Like it's still fine. No, I'm not giving Would, you that. I wouldn't go back to play Mario Super Mario Brothers. I would. Yeah, I would. Lots I of people still do. I don't. I'm I have. sorry. That doesn't. Yeah, I'm, not, no. I'm not going to play that. I'll play Mario 3. How about, I'll play Mario oh, 2. Oh. I'm going to join you here on the my answer is wrong. How about Metroid? Oh, just that's a good choice. Metroid. Yeah. That's a great choice. I, I also think the same up. thing about Zelda. I've said that for I a long time. Still think that holds up too. 
No, Zelda. The no, first Zelda's one? Not, the yeah, first absolutely. One. absolutely. Zelda 1 and 2 are not worth playing. Don't play two was never. 2 wasn't good originally, but the original right, Zelda right. still holds up. Don't like, it's play still the original Zelda. It's a good game Just play experience. Breath of the Wild. Rock don't, Arena or Link to the Past. You know do not play the original play Zelda. Play the original Zelda. Play the do original not do Zelda. that. You're going to have a bad time. Do that. You're not going to have You're a bad gonna time. You're going to have a bad time. That's my I've changed my my answer is gold cartridge Zelda. Ooh, wow. That's a, that's a bold you take. You Zelda crybaby. Snotty good. <laughs> Here's the thing, Donnie, you never liked NES games. So and they I, weren't your childhood. So I don't I don't, I don't I'm not, I'm not counting it. I'm, I'm sure in it. 1986 it was mind blowing. But uh still still yeah. a great game. It's but one it, of the few games I go back and replay. It doesn't hold up. Still think it holds up. Most NES games I think hold up. I should go back and play it. Maniac it's, Mansion. Yeah, it's, it's, it. I like Maniac, Maniac Mansion. Mansion was House. trash. Maniac Mansion was trash then. Like, like most Maniac. NES games. <laughs> like a no. lot of the games from that era. I like Maniac. The good Maniac. NES games still hold up. TNC Fest, Surf Design. Festus Quest. 720. <laughs> Great that stuff. entire. I'll tell you one that doesn't hold up. The Atari collection that just came out. That game doesn't hold up. Those were they trash. That shit still doesn't hold up. They were not trash. <laughs> Yeah, they were. Tempest is they the only trash good then, game. The trash now they remastered trash. Yeah. It's trash remastered. What is it? Haunted House was trash. Except for Ninja Golf. Ninja, Ninja Golf still. Good lord. That's what we could yeah. call this podcast. Good lord. Just Ninja Golf. <laughs> we can change it. <laughs> yeah, nah. Delvin got it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have an answer because most of the games that I played as a kid still hold up for me. So, that's all that matters. And those <laughs> rose colored glasses. Yeah. See, he no, doesn't play them not, anymore. It's not necessarily but, but that it's rose colored glasses. He hasn't played them in some time, but they still. So, define, define, define hold up. Like you play it today and have every bit as much enjoyment out of it. Yeah. Because the thing but is, you don't. You don't play them. You don't play old games. I, so I, I, don't, I do. I don't play them don't. a lot. I don't play video games a lot. Period. At this point, but That's I do true. break out the NES and I do play those games, and they're just as fun to me now as they were then. It's not like I'm looking back and expecting it to be this amazing thing. It's an NES game. Like I know what I'm getting into. So for me, it holds up. Like Contra, I know exactly what I'm gonna get. When I put in Contra, same with Zelda. Like, I know what one. that game experience is. No, you shouldn't. I have, yeah, I have play no the new desire. one. No, you it's don't. not very good. You know, you know so, what? The NES wrestling games. Pro they're wrestling? very bad. They're yeah, very bad. I, I used to like them when I was a kid. They're fucking terrible. <laughs> oh. I think most of the sports games are not good on the NES. Yeah. Well, uh, Tec- Tecmo Bowl. Tecmo, Tecmo Bowl. Bowl no, 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 Tecmo Bowl's great. But like, you know fight. what I'm talking about. It's pretty good. You know one. what I'm talking about. I don't know. a lot of like what, some which trash ones? NES games. Like a lot of like track and field games. Like the games that were just like like baseball, basketball. Like they were just yeah, baseball, generic golf. Yeah, baseball was they are not good. Baseball starts, bases loaded. Those are baseball I would still play good. those. Baseball stars yeah. good. I would That's say really baseball. I would game. I would play baseball stars. I'd play all the bases loaded games and I would know exactly what I'm what I'm getting into, and I feel like those still hold up to what they were. Like it, you're not I can't imagine playing an NES game and expecting anything like what modern gaming is. Like, Nobody's saying that. Yeah, there, so are games it, that, there are games that it holds because up. of the time when it was the best of its day, you played it and you're like this. You put up with it. They were great. And then you go back to it having played, you know, modern advances, and you're like, okay, this is harder to play than I remember. It's not as good as I remember uh, by today's standards. Now, obviously, you could say nothing by today's standards is as good as the NES, but exactly. here's the thing. But Mario 3 is still every bit as good today. I agree. Like, again, next to Mario Wonder, Mario 3 is still an excellent video game. I agree. Even by 100%. modern standards, Mario 3, it's it, like it's, there are examples. Not every game is that. I guess I just get it completely differently. Okay. Well, you got Why some more you want to throw under the bus, Delvin? You I and I can like... just do this question. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think. A lot of the early 3D games I don't think hold up. Like the early yeah. 3D games, the PlayStation, the N C C four games, uh, they're not super great now when you go back to them. 
Yeah, a lot of those um, first PS One games. Yeah, not I think of like uh, Jumping Flash. Jumping Flash was trash when it came out. <laughs> well, the um, Battle yeah, Royale Shinjin. Yeah, there are, there are very few games I'd go back and play on PS. Virtual One. Fighter. That's that's a solid choice. No bueno. I'm not playing Virtual Fighter today. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like a prototype for a fighting game that came much later. You know, it's just like, yeah. is this Alpha? Like what? The, like what is this? Right. I'm not playing that. Like today, I'm not yeah. playing that shit. No, I'm good. Yeah. Unlike to go back to to give Dev another example, Outrun. Which is fucking great. Still. Outrun. So, so is good. Streets of Rage. Streets of Rage is great. Still. Yeah. You don't even need a new one. You just keep playing. It's still it's still very good. Yeah. I feel yeah. the same way about Zelda. Uh, Virtual Fighter. Mario is Brothers, not. Metroid. Virtual Fighter was never a game that I enjoyed, so no. So then okay, so just give us one you didn't enjoy, and then we'll just say it's worse now. Just give us a game Fighter. you didn't like. There you go. Oh, there you Fighter. Go. I love Space Area. I played it all day. Nice. Yeah, Space Raiders dope. But yeah, what PS1 about a modern games. one? What about a modern one? We can do that. Give me something from the PS3 360 era forward hmm. that you wouldn't, you you don't want to, wouldn't go back to. If they put PS3 games on the PlayStation uh, Five store tomorrow, what are you like? I'm not playing this trash. I'm not playing. They put that Haze games. up there. I'm not playing Haze. I didn't play. I like play Haze in the beginning. I wouldn't play the first Resistance. <laughs> like, I would. No, I would thank you. Know, I should. I might buy a console for that. I'm like, should they got Resistance again? Resistance. 3? Now, the, yeah. how you feel about that? I feel that way about SOCOM. People love SOCOM. I'm like, nah, fuck SOCOM. I yeah. I wouldn't I'm replay SOCOM, SOCOM either. Mm. No, thank you. Uh, I'm trying to think. Three sixty days. So much of that stuff has actually been remastered and kept. I don't know. Fable would probably be my answer. The, the OG Fable. Hmm. And then, and like I, I've played the OG Fable. It's playable. I just I like Fable Two and Fable Three a lot more. Like a lot more. I wouldn't play Metal Gear Solid Three again. There's your answer. Yeah, one. you have a you have a disdain for this game. I fucking hate that game. I don't understand well, you're why. Gonna, you're going to have a okay. chance to play it again, baby. It's coming right back out. Yeah, it's coming out better than no, ever. Not. I'm going to pretend like it doesn't exist. But in Donnie Pass. Yep. <laughs> you're going to see that fucking icon. I can hide I can hide games. That hidden doesn't exist. You just delete us. Yeah. No, thank you. Fuck that game. And then I heard talking about Metroid and Legends I Won't Play Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For free. He won't yeah. nope, not even try it. He's like, nope. Just for the nope. sake of your theme. Ugh. Great. God, I hate that game. I was ugh. You know, going back to the original like Resident Evil, like that OG platform Resident oh, Evil God. games. It's tank controls. Yeah, it's tough these days. Yeah, PS1, probably. period. Is even not a generation that I ever go back to. It's like I kind of like tank controls because like, like on Switch you can still get like Resident Evil 4 with the tank, like the actual Resident Evil 4. It's literally going back to like the PS1. It's it's the tank controls. And the camera and the visuals and I'm like, nope. Yeah, like it's like Resident Evil's come so far. It's like I can't go that far back. Yeah, that's too far back. Resident I think the Evil. furthest I can go is like GameCube Resident Evil. Like before that, it's too much. It's, yeah. it's too far. We can't Resident go any further than you. Yeah, it, it yeah. So yeah, I think that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Those Resident Evil games. I never have to touch them shits again. <laughs> There's a lot of games, and, and like, not to throw them all under, but like games like that. You know, people are like, we want Dino Crisis. Like, yeah, you want a new Dino Crisis, like a remake. You don't want like the actual Dino Crisis back. No, not at all. Nobody wants you know, some wacky ass games. games like, you don't want to do that cameras. again. Whereas, like, I do want like Clock Tower back. Like, you just put give me a ROM of Clock Tower. Totally happy. Super happy. I'm like that with Parasite Eve. I wouldn't do that for Parasite Eve. I would not. I could not play PS One Parasite Eve again. <laughs> I one hundred percent could. I love that you game. would. Yeah, Parasite Eve. I love that game. Oh, so good. I, I couldn't imagine. Would you play? Um, okay, how do you guys feel about Final Fantasy VII the original? You I can like get that it. on PlayStation. I love right? it. Can you buy the you, original? Yeah, you can buy the yeah. original on. Everything. Would you play it? No, 
I have played it. They, they have Too damn H- long. What's it? HD? What's it called? HD remaster? What's it called? Sure. They brought I mean, the PS4, or whatever it was. Yeah, it's on Switch, right? I think yeah, you can it's buy on, it. It's, yeah, it's on everything. It's literally on I iOS. It's on Android. It's on, it's on everything. I don't think it's. <laughs> it's probably not. Well, on Xbox that. isn't real. It yeah. doesn't exist. Xbox doesn't oh, have no. games. <laughs> we doing that to my my, my console, man? <laughs> you don't even uh, play that thing. Not, I played it this week. A mm. bunch. I played it more this week than I did anything else. Actually, third party. It's unfortunate. It's not unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> You say that like I don't play it. It's like I play it most weeks. That's unfortunate. That's, you can do better. Nice. You can do better. It's very nice. I can, but I choose not to. You can too. Do better in all these damn NES trash you just named, but you choose not to. So I mean, we're both I in the same boat, either. you and I, Dev. Peas no. in the pot. Nah. Mm-hmm. I choose like a- Ellie and Abby. Just two <laughs> sides of the same coin. Yeah. Apt. Yeah. Okay, I think we've beat that into the ground. <laughs> yeah, like Joe. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like Joe. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, hang on, man. We, have, we have answers in the chat. I can't see. Says uh, one that I liked then, but doesn't hold now is RC Pro Am. I haven't played that. In so I disagree. Long. I think that game still holds up, and it's hard as hell. I would oh, play RC Pro Am. God, that game was hard. Well, I I never played them then, but I tell you, the NSO added the Game Boy games. Mm-hmm. And I tried to play half of those. I was like, I'm not playing this shit. <laughs> yeah. Who played? Like, I booted up Alone in the Dark on Game Boy. That was borderline not even like an actual program running, let alone a game. Like, as I was like, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Like, Apparently you play this. Apparently somebody plays this. Not I wouldn't play any of the Game Boy games. Like that's just <laughs> no. I'm not doing that. Not doing that. And then that. uh D Life said that resistance was dope. They need to make resistance four. Did First you hear all, nobody listening listen to anything D Life is playing? Don't listen to him. He plays terrible stuff. Is, Did you guys listen it. to more video games this week? No. No. Kyle dropped the we need to put the hell gas in. Hell divers, and I was like, "That's good. That's a good idea. That's very good. No, that'd be a good crossover event. It could be fun. We don't nod. need any fucking crossovers in that it's game. Leave it game, alone man. and let fun. it. It just exist on its, it's own two legs. Let no, some new spaceship show up. Hell no, gas off. Got to fight them. No, let it be its own coming. thing. Can we just let?" Things exist on their own without having a crossover in, or add something else. Just leave it alone. No. Helldivers is great Absolutely on its own. Not. It Absolutely needs nothing not. else. Nope. You just don't have to play that week. It'll be fine. You'll be okay. Yeah. You take a break. Just play an action. Other video games. I, I don't. Okay. I don't. I take plenty of breaks. So get the hell. Get the hell diver. Yeah. Get the hell gas cape and the helmet. Good stuff. Nah. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't have anything against resistance. I have, you know, my things are against you, D Life. You and your trash yeah. picks. <laughs> um, June says he'd go back to PlayStation One for Driver and Twisted Metal. I'll say that and I'm sure they play like shit now. I I think Twisted Metal holds up. I play Twisted Metal today. I've played Twisted Metal off and on for years. I bought Twisted Metal Black on PS4, right? Did they put Black on PS4? Yes, it did. Yep, and I got it and played it for like a week. Those are easy. They're card games, you know. I think those those are every bit as good as they were then. Yeah. I would love a, a full blown actual twisted metal like remaster. That would be great. Can you imagine a twisted metal collection, like with all the maps and shit, online play? That'd be great. That would be dope. That would be exciting. Um I miss I miss Twisted Metal. Yeah. Maker of Chaos, go do a hell dive mission with the autom- automatons. And you'll have your big boss type enemies. The yeah. fucking ATAT walkers. Just, just jump in. Nah. Okay. Yeah, it's not for you, Delvin. It's not for you. No, it's not. I'm aware. Get on your Steam Deck. <laughs> Hell Divers 1 on your Steam Deck. Yeah, I might do that. Shit, you want to play Hell Divers 1? I'm playing Hell Divers 1 on Steam Deck. I might, I might do that. That's a good idea. I thought there was one on Steam Deck. It's dope. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> Sounds like a good time, actually. Hell Dive World was a pretty good game. Yeah, yeah. I liked it. I so played it more than I played the second one. Yeah, didn't even get to play the second one. Yeah. Free to play Joe. Free to play Joe says, "Color me surprised by Donnie's lack of enthusiasm for Phil's. Let's put Steam on Xbox talk. Given all of his Steam gaming lately, why not bundle the two together and have the best of both worlds? Yeah. Also, do you think gaming might be heading down the same path streaming services are by bundling services and customers together? Yes. No, I don't think we're there yet. Um." Yeah, so he gave me hell about this because he reminded me that I was on record as saying that I wanted Steam on my Xbox at some point in the past, which sounds <laughs> probably true. Again, and what I told him, I'd just like to reiterate, Joe, that I would I would be open to Steam being on, on the console. I think it'd be fun because for me, my Xbox is more or less an extension of my PC just on the television. That said... What I said last week wasn't, or at least maybe I didn't land the plane correctly. You know, because Sean and I talked about this too on Sweet Hangs. It wasn't that I was against the idea, or at least I didn't want to give that off. What I was more or less going through was an exercise of if they did this, what would it mean for Xbox long run? Right. That's where I was. It's not that I'm against it. I've got 750 Steam games. <laughs> Am I, I'm not going to be against it. Um, I think it would be great. If Xbox wants to make steam machines, make steam machines. But there are ramifications of that. They're business-wise and and just technological like realities. The Xbox runs its own kernel and everything is verified to run on that system. If you bring in Steam, now you're essentially patching in another PC architecture into Steam's framework, right? Just like we have with the Steam Deck where certain things work and certain things don't. Mm -hmm. If you just put the Steam app on Xbox, guess what you're going to run into? Some shit runs and some stuff don't. Like that'll happen too. And I don't necessarily like that in like a like a console. Like like if we're thinking like the Series X console. Now, if we're thinking of like they just make a PC that has like an OS wrapper on top of it, right? And but it is a PC and you can load any program and it runs on Windows. Sure. I think you can do that. Um you probably can't sell it at a price that people expect console to come at because right. the console sells at the price it's at because it's subsidized by the games and services it offers. Like there's a whole, there's a lot to this that's not it doesn't work. Just there's a reality it doesn't here. fucking work. Right. And and the thing that I was trying, and I'm not trying to make it sound like chicken little. Sean and I talked about this through. I got a couple of points I'd like to just reiterate. The sky isn't falling. I think Xbox is gonna be fine either way. But there's a reality here that if they de-emphasize the console too much, it does lessen the, not the appeal, but the, like, it lessens the reach of Game Pass. And if yeah. you lessen what Game Pass can reach, then you lessen Game Pass, right? If you're not, Game Pass isn't already growing and it becomes smaller, does that mean you get less games? If you get less game, like, you know, like there's, there, there are consequences here, the realities to, to Phil's thing. Sean pointed out, I think, greatly, and it's something that we should have pointed out. And I think it's something that we'd all just know. Phil just be talking out of his ass. He could have just been in the moment and be like, why don't we have this? And then just it never come up ever again. That, that's a plausibility here, you know. Um, yeah. But more than anything else, I just, I just, I didn't, I just, I didn't like the, the direction per se. And that's where I was. It's just the realities of what this means for the brand. I think what I told Sean is I feel like more than ever, I feel like I'm just getting the sense that I feel like Xbox is just trying to do everything. And uh, on Sweet Hangs, I just called them. Maybe they just want to be like a jack of all trades. Do you want to, you want to buy, you want to buy, you want to play games on a handheld? Check. You want to buy, play games on a console? Check. You want a PC on your TV? Check. You want to play Xbox games on your PlayStation? check you don't play xbox game you're right it seems like they're just trying to do that and like maybe the totality of doing all of this equates to some net positive that we don't see yeah. right xbox is just going to be the gaming brand of microsoft like just the extension of this is where any games from microsoft exist we are now a third-party publisher 
We're going to put our games everywhere. And see, for me, call it a day. And I think you know this, but if our listeners don't, Joe, for me, if that's where they want to be, then just be that. The thing that bothers me more than anything is the communication. It's not necessarily the marketing. It's the direction. It's the vision. What's the mission statement? What are you doing? Like, what do you believe in? What's the goal? What are you trying to do? It seems like they're just trying to do anything. Yeah. Like, we just want, what can we do? We can, we, we want to do that too. You know, it's just like, tell us what it is. Like, what's your vision? Like, um, Yarden said in the chat, he was like, what, what's your identity? What are you doing? That's the thing that's like giving me personal strife with all this. It's like, I want to know what you believe in. They believe in Game Pass and subscription yeah. services. But do they? Yes. But very do much they? so. Because here's yeah. the thing. If you de-emphasize consoles, you de-emphasize Game Pass. Unless, unless you bring Game Pass to other systems, which is where well, I was going with well, the wall garden. Until they can do that, they can't say that. But that's probably what I they're know. thinking. I know. I know. Yeah, I know. Like, that. I think we know that. We know that. If you really, if you know, if you want, we'll, 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 we'll have a box for you. You can get the Xbox. It's, I, I mean, it's like our Surface tablet. It exists if you want I that. I wouldn't thing. be surprised if the vision is our games and Game Pass on everything. And we have a brand of computer called Xbox that we sell to people. Yeah. Yeah. That's Basically. Like that's the future. That's, that's okay. That's cool. And, uh, but here's the, and again, that handheld, that Xbox, if you're not, if you're not selling a subsidized system that helps pay for itself, that hardware is more expensive than you're used to. I don't care about that. I'll buy a $2,000 gaming machine if it's worth it. But I know that our listeners don't, <laughs> and I know they won't. So if you think that they're going to make a PC that plays games at the highest level and then sell it to you for $500, you are sorely mistaken. That's not how this works. Yeah, That's so why I, Steam can't just be on your Xbox. So it's basically talk, just a Steam Deck. My talk last week about the walled gardens and the 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 regulators and that and the that's where all that's coming from is hey i know this sounds awesome but to get there you jeopardize a lot of other things potentially get changed that's all yeah. i don't care if they want to put steam on xbox i'm here for it you can put steam on the xbox but it doesn't work it's gonna be like the steam deck some games will work some games won't like your and library doesn't was, just work that way it's if they not wanted to do that work if they wanted to do that if that's what they said, that's what he said. Why don't I do that? Then why isn't Steam Link on my Xbox? And why isn't GeForce Now on my Xbox? You can do that now. Like right now. Without any hoops at all, you can just publish the app that already exists in the Windows Store. You just put it on my Xbox and allow people to Steam Link right to their Xbox. But you don't. So like, do you believe it? No. Again, or are you just saying it? They, they, they believe it, but they're not going to say it until it's feasible and we've got game pass everywhere on everything i that's why that's why i started the conversation last week and mm -hmm. that's why i was so focused on that i i ultimately think this is probably a play a long-term play mm -hmm. for the expansion of game pass yeah yep. 100%. yeah but you can't you can't sacrifice the xbox brand yet until you have all those things you got to keep saying yes we're xbox we have yeah. a box we, for you we have a console yeah. We're going to keep pushing the generational things. leap. Yeah. Be the we got to keep ever. saying those things until, yeah. you know, the other shoe drops and we can say, yes, Game Pass is now available on PlayStation. Game Pass is now available on Nintendo. So anywhere you want to play Xbox games, we're wherever you want to be. Until we can get there, we can't say that. We can't, until the shoe drops, we have to continue to support this little Xbox. Call it a day. Yep. Yep. Man. Your passion speech makes me want to buy a 360. <laughs> Before they all go away. Before they all go away. Just like get one real quick. <laughs> I'm shocked that you don't already own. Mine cell. died. Remember? Mine died last oh, year. I mean, that's what they do. So yeah, just put a that's true. It. But it had a good run. It had a really good run. My PS3 also, still works. Also, Launch like the PS3, PS3. Uh, booting into a 360 is uh, not a great experience. All those services and shit trying to figure out who you are and why you like it's like it almost like starts smoking when you just get it going. You're like, oh no. <laughs> really? <laughs> like at the software level, like yeah, it kind of starts to break apart. Hmm. 
My PS3, I booted it up the other day to play. My son wanted to play DuckTales Remastered. Woohoo. Ran great. Turned right on. He was able to get to it. Scroll down to the game. Boom. Yeah. Fine. I have a PS3. And I would agree with you. Like, if it's already installed and stuff, you can turn it on and play things. Oh, yeah. The moment you try to hit the PlayStation Store. Oh, no. There's no need for that. That's Why where the 360 is like the 360. Yeah, the PlayStation Store is no bueno on PlayStation 3. Oh, yeah. We're not, we're not it's hitting no play. You're like only like playing the games that are installed play. already. And heaven forbid you move off that screen after it's loaded. <laughs> trying to download your old games. Oh, it's a mess. Yeah. Trying to get in there and re download things, you're going to, it's not going to be a good time. Yeah, I put a I put a 500 gig hard or yeah 500 gig hard drive in my PlayStation and just downloaded everything a long time ago. We're not no, re-downloading the, anything. It's just if, there. If I can get you to remember, the 360 changed their dashboard to Metro look, like the Windows 8 look at the end. And every one of those, not everyone, but a lot of those tiles are tied to like cloud service somewhere. So for all of them to load and get into connect, like I have like the little weather tile or something and all of those things are like the store tile or the apps tile. They all got to load something like a movie or and like the whole deal. <laughs> yeah, it's like more and more. I'm glad I've just give me the blades. a fan of Xbox. Just... <laughs> give me the blades. Put the blades back on this damn thing. This thing is not, this doesn't run well anymore. That's why I didn't poor, replace it. Poor, poor Xbox. This is the things you have to deal with. You know, do you, have that remember? you remember when it broke? I was about 40% through playing Lollipop after the remake was announced. I was like, I'm going to play it again. And I hooked it up and started playing Lollipop, and I was about 40% into it. And the whole damn thing just stopped working. <laughs> damn. And I was like, should I get another one? Nope. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I ended up on Nope. That's where I ended up. And I was like, no, I won't do it. Isn't that what emulators are for? Exactly. I still haven't got to. I've never dabbled with 360 or PS3 emulation yet. I'm still at the PS2 GameCube level and below. My emulation has never gone past Super Nintendo and Genesis. Yeah. Those are the only games I feel like emulating. And I, I don't carry and a lot some of arcade games. stuff. I don't carry a lot of emulation stuff either. I only have like, I have about like 30 gigs of games that I usually like load on. Chromebooks That's or handhelds or a whatever. A lot of games, sir. 30 yeah, but there's gigs people of out here that games? run around. There's people that run around here with like 10,000 game, like hard drives of games. Like I have like 10 to 20 of my favorite games on every system. Like That's it. That's like I have 10 to 20 PSP games, GBA games, PS1, PS2, uh, GameCube. And like, that's it. You know, it's not a lot. It's the GameCube games. The GameCube games are pretty heavy. Yeah, with like four or five gigs a piece since it's uh, yeah. DVDs. Yeah. And the PlayStation 2 games can be a little heavy. Not too bad, but a little bit. So, yeah, it's just those. Uh, okay. on, on, the, on the bundle question, I don't think we're there yet. I think... I do wonder if we get to like a streaming space at some point, if that becomes a thing, could they all get together and be like combined forces and just have like the gaming pass, you know, maybe who knows? I don't, I wouldn't bet on it. I, wouldn't bet on that. I, I hope I'm not here to see that. I'm, uh, just, I, I would think know. actually, let me rephrase that. I don't think they would bundle with each other. I could see them bundling with other services. I could see a brand like I could see Xbox and Netflix bundling together. I, that I could same. see Apple TV and PlayStation or Disney Plus and PlayStation or something like the Apple and Nintendo. I could see them doing something like that in that space. But I don't think we'll see like the Nintendo Xbox bundle. Yeah, this is when I get off this ride. Just <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Uh, we're not going to see that. It'd be beyond us anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of more ne- X- Xbox stuff, Nick says, uh, what would you want from an Xbox handheld, and when do you think we see one? I will stop. No. Talking. I talked a lot. I what? mean, no. Just That's a no from me, dog. Delvin? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like good battery life, like relatively speaking, compared to other, other handheld consoles. I want some 
just a Game Pass machine, obviously. Just make it a good Game Pass machine optimization. So Xbox games will run on there pretty good. Like, you know, I would like to play Gears and Gears, play like Gears and, you know, the Halos and stuff like that. I, I know it won't be perfect, but, you know, you can kind of do your thing. I just got to wonder with stuff like that, like s- storage. Like, if we're talking Xbox games, if we're talking like current games. Yeah. How much storage you got to put in there? And how, how, how much is that going to cost? Same. That's yeah, in the same ballpark. Day. They're doing the exact same thing. How Was much? It? How much? How much storage comes on those regularly? And like again, but you guys are usually playing like smaller titles. Like you're not playing. Yeah, but the they have all stuff. the. They have all of that there. Right. So I'm wondering if, but we're not looking at like all the small indie stuff. We're talking about like the Xbox games. We're talking about the large yeah. 60, 70, 80 gig games. Like I'm wondering what they would do just storage wise, or is it just. You just delete us. Call it it is. I mean, so on the Steam Deck, Chalfie's Steam Deck has 512. Isn't that what the PlayStation came with? No, I can't more than that. Okay. Really? It wasn't that much more than that, right? It wasn't a terabyte. It was a terabyte with like 800 and something free. Okay. The PS5? Yeah. My ally is a terabyte. So I was that, that was the point I was trying to make. I think my ally came with more. No, that's not true. I think my ally is 512 as well. They're but 512 the is, on board, and then you can swap the drive or add SD card to it. So I, I have um, a 2 terabyte in the ally. I just bought a 512 to add to the Steam Deck, so I have a terabyte and change to work with. Yeah. But yeah. Same I mean, thing. It is the same thing. Yeah, it's, it's more or less the same. Why would they just add an external hard drive slot for it and you can put stuff in and you can upgrade your memory? Yeah, but then you're limited to the medium. You know, mm-hmm. you're limited to the SD card. It's not an SSD. Yeah. And that's that's why I asked the question. <laughs> like, yeah, it is flash storage. How and that does, does that change work? How, how games... Um, having it on board does allow you to utilize it like faster memory, but like mm-hmm. for open world games, you see pop-in and stuff. You know, it's not an SSD. Um, though... Somebody shared, probably Garrett, somebody shared something. There's a new SSD card that is faster than SSD. It's slightly more expensive, but they're trying to like, they're trying to like sell or revolutionize the SD marker when they're like, somebody just shared that with us in the last couple months. Um, the Xbox handheld. It's interesting because I think there's like, clearly two paths to go in which means xbox will probably try to settle somewhere in the middle if you want a cheap handheld that completely plays your entire xbox library like your xbox console does and that doesn't mean it has to be cheap but if like if you're looking for that console version of the handheld at a console price point then i think it has to be a closed system like a console uh, especially if you want to sell it in like the sub five hundred dollar range, I think it has to be. And I think that's a weird spot for Xbox could do because I think they could make that, and I actually think that would be pretty awesome. And I think they would bridge the gap power wise with like streaming. So I think some things could run natively, and other things you could play through XCloud, but like it would all just work right out of the OS. And another good thing for Xbox in this realm is that like basically all of these machines are AMD, right? Yep. Everything is AMD. Like outside the switch, everything's AMD. So, I think Xbox has the opportunity here. I don't. I don't think they'll take it, but they have the opportunity to just like rebadge the system. Like they could just like go to AMD and be like, "Hey, that thing you did for the Ally is pretty cool. How can we optimize that? And we'll just build that and just put an Xbox badge on it, and we'll call it an Xbox." Um, but to get the Steam Deck love. I think you want it to be able to be more PC based and not closed and you want it to be open. And what you want to do is you want to create a windows machine with an Xbox wrapper on it, but still be able to boot in windows to do emulation, to play steam things, to do the Epic game store, all the things that Phil just talked about. And all of that sounds great, right? You're going to get a super powerful PC handheld that plays all your Xbox games, has a better launcher, but you can boot into your Steam, you can play your Nintendo, Super Nintendo games on it, right? Guess what? 
that's really expensive. And all mm-hmm. these people that keep talking about an Xbox handheld, I don't think they're ready for like the, oh, and it's six ninety nine. <laughs> I, I don't know if they're ready for that. I think they all think it's going to be three ninety nine or something. And it's like S- Steam is subsidizing the Steam Deck. Like Valve is subsidizing the Steam Deck price like a console. They're selling it to you very cheaply, like as probably as cheap as they possibly can. Because guess what? They are the PC store. Correct. Even if they open it up to the other thing, you're going to buy all your games on Steam. Because most yep. people buy all their games on Steam. So they are the PC store. If Xbox does that, they're going to take a bath because then everybody's just going to buy their games on Steam <laughs> and they're not going to mm-hmm. make any money back, which makes me think that the thing won't be that cheap. It'll be expensive. They're going to get their money up front and then hope that they get you with some Game Pass and some Xbox, but they're going to get their money up front. And maybe it's not $700, but maybe it's 5 Like maybe they could do like a little bit of both. Five hundred dollar handheld is a lot. It it's a lot, lot for a lot of people, and you're yeah. still got to. And, and if you're doing anything like the Ally, you're still running into the wattage problem. You're still going to have very limited battery life. You just can't. You know, for all the things that we've learned from Digital Foundry over the years, and I when I say we, I mean like the collective gaming, like the the console gamer. People still don't understand like the limitations of power. That's a real limitation. You can't run Tekken 8 at 60 frames a second on a portable battery for longer than 40 minutes. It just doesn't work. It doesn't yeah. matter. Like You just can't do it. Um, we don't have a solution for that yet. It just draws too much power. The Series yeah. S draws like, like I don't know, isn't it like four times the power that the Steam Deck draws? The Series S. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> People really don't understand like the sacrifices that have to be made to make a portable gaming system work. So and if that's the Xbox why... did that and you get an hour of battery life like I have on the Ally, is it worth it? That's kind of where <laughs> I am with it. So I'm kind of going more the switch route, which I don't necessarily think that's where it is, but I'm going more the the more affordable, closed Xbox experience locked into the Xbox system handheld. That's like three ninety nine, and you know, like, but now you're introducing another skew for developers to have to develop for, mm-hmm. and that runs into its own damn problem. Can Hellblade right. run on that? No. But again, is that become does the streaming does the streaming find the way to fix that? If you go, hey, let, it's got to be able to run here, and if it can't, then it's got to be on XCloud. Let me throw in this little caveat. Is there a bridge there? Can people be willing to accept that? I would. I would. I think I would. What if the bridge is the Series S? Like the games that run on the Series S can run on this handheld. Essentially. But, but they can't. We just talked about it. I'm sorry, you, you stepped away and you came back. Yeah. Did you hear us? No, they, I heard some of it. I didn't hear the whole thing. No. The they wattage. Because of the power issue. You don't have the enough power. The Series S just yeah. draws so much power, like you just kill the battery. Well, I, I don't think. Like you don't, don't run. Any handheld it'll will only run for 50 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think if any that, handheld they're bringing in is going to be like that. I think it's going to run terrible battery life. Yeah, yeah, and, gonna, and that's where I do think you have the ability here, again, if it's economical, you have the ability here to, like, we're way better than the portal, but we're not quite the Steam Deck. Definitely. And you run, like, this little middle ground where it's like, you can play Fable 2 or Halo 2 or some shit on the... You can play, you can run Gears 2 on this thing, and it's awesome. But if you want to play Hellblade with all the ray tracing and everything, you got to hit xCloud. And maybe that's like a... Maybe that's a, like a, a Trojan horse to get people into streaming. You want all the ray tracing, then you got to hit xCloud with a fucking amazing internet connection. Sure, but like, but look at the portal. People, nobody gives a shit about the portal. They're doing that. Like people, people love the portal, and that's all it can yeah. do is that. Yeah. So like maybe but, there's, there's a there's no real ray tracing happening there. And and, and 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 even as I say that, I go maybe there's a space. Like I feel like this is exactly the thing I was talking about when the portal was announced. Maybe there's a way. Like you know. Um, you could do this. Is it worth the trouble? Are you going to make no. money off of it? Is this a big business? Are you going to no. make 20 million of these? 
And the other question is, like, if you do decide you want to make games native, like, how many devs are going to want to spend the time to try to make sure that it actually runs on this handheld properly? And then, yeah, then it just becomes a streaming thing. My, my <laughs> thing, when I heard them things, think about it. <laughs> yeah, thing that's, was, this that's, is... that's why I'm like, to do what they're saying they want to do, it's got to be a Windows machine, and it's got to be able to do all the things. And then... Now you're in a whole different class of device and it's expensive and battery. Like it comes with its own issues. Like there's mm-hmm. a lot here. I don't know. That's what I think it's literally going to be. This is just an ally with Xbox's name. On it. I, on, yeah. I, when they first talked about it, I was expecting them to be like, here's the Xbox branded version of literally that. That's, that's what they need to do. Like you just partner with the, and, and that's what I would do. Another and make it black, just change the slap buttons. your logo on it and yep, call it a exactly. day. Game Pass for a year, it's in the box, and like maybe they can come up with a way to make the Xbox app feel like your console, yeah. mm-hmm. and maybe they could get away. Like they've been talking about for a while now. I'm expecting that we get to a point now where, like, if you're a Game Pass subscriber, you can stream any game in your library. I think that's coming at some point. Like having like a little portal-ish device or something like that for that makes sense like you can stream your entire library it, it, whether it's in game pass or not if you own a game on xbox you can stream it on this device yeah. there's in something to head, the, there is something to that i mean that's the portal in my head <laughs> yeah. i thought of the the ally but only in uh you know the what is it called the uh game pad mode i think it's called i can't remember the what mode. the mode where it's oh just yeah game, game mode yeah. game mode the ally just in game mode and the game mode just has Xbox uh, uh, stuff on it. As just like a little to... Xbox launcher on top. Exactly. It's okay. Them. You can't can access Steam. You can't access all that, any other thing, but it's just the ally with only Xbox stuff on it. I can see it. I wouldn't buy that, but I can see it. But that's what I That's what I was thinking of. I, mean, I wouldn't buy it because I already have one. Like, I have yeah. that. I'm not going to buy another one You're of right. those. And then again, people are going to buy it. They're not going to love 70 minutes of battery. They're going to buy it. They're going to love it, but they don't understand. Like, huh? I'm not when the damn thing no, doesn't make it. they're not. I think they would. I don't think they... Okay, so you're looking at two different audiences. The people who understand that kind of stuff already have these devices. If you're trying to market to the console player who's looking for the portable Xbox, they're going to get this thing expecting one thing, and then they've got 30 minutes before this thing dies, and now it's this weird... Pe- no, it just it, it doesn't it's gonna, work. It's going to be a Steam Deck. <laughs> it's gonna be a- and, and, and if you close it off like that, now you're and you, but it's the ally. You're selling it for the ally price, but it doesn't do Steam and it doesn't do Epic and it doesn't do Emu Deck and it doesn't do your emulators and that's a problem in itself. It's gonna be a mm-hmm. simpler ally and people. Are- Ooh, I don't know if anybody wants that. Nobody's buying that. At this they, point, it's like why don't you just part- And at this point, it's like why don't you just partner with Valve? Mm-hmm. Game Pass to the Steam Deck and let the Steam Deck do this for you. That makes that way work. more sense. Just do that. Um, but you know what, Phil, when he was talking about in that article, he's like, I want the dashboard to look like my OS on my console. I want cloud saves. I want my friends list. So like, he wants to be the launcher. And that's where you can't partner with the Steam Deck. And that's what like, I was he thinking. wants that. Then you just make the portal for Xbox and call them I, a day. I actually think that's like <laughs> that's... I, th- I think that's the prudent thing to do. I don't think that's what anybody wants, but like the smart thing to do instead of trying to build a new console and a new thing and invest millions is literally just make a streaming device. Yeah, but that's and that's why PlayStation did it. And you see that they fucking sell and people like this thing. Like it yeah, works. It's cheap Does... enough. And Xbox it... would have a leg up because they wouldn't restrict you to just remote play. You mm-hmm. can remote play or connect to the cloud. If you have that Game Pass, right. you can just connect to the cloud have and play from that. anywhere. Yeah. Play from your phone. Play from anywhere. Play from Starbucks. Yep. Like I could see, I could see that making. I would think that would make a lot more sense. That makes way more sense, and you can re- release it at a reasonably good price. You don't have to go up to five hundred. You can put it at the portable price of two hundred bucks. That would make sense. All right. So now, because I got one more thing I got to ask, because you went there, could they do both? The they reason I say both. it, the reason I say it is, they're publishing on PlayStation, published on Nintendo, they're published on PC. They've got console big, console light. They're they they're right now like they are literally, in my opinion, they're doing both. They're doing everything. 
So could they partner with Ally for the for the big one and then have the portal small one? Like, could you see them doing both? Could you see them doing one and if one is successful, they do the other or something? Maybe not at the same time, of course. I'm just I'm thinking out loud. Because we've just brought up a bunch of different scenarios why they could pick one path or the other. And I'm wondering if you're sitting there based on the decisions and the talk that they're making, if you're sitting there in the boardroom and they're drawing shit up on the dry erase board, is there somebody in that room that's like, yes. Yeah, you make the portal. <laughs> we'll just as, do all of it. <laughs> as Microsoft, you have the Surface team make the portal version of Xbox, and then you partner with somebody else to just throw your launcher on the Steam Deck or throw your launcher yeah. on the Ally. Like it doesn't yeah. make sense to manufacture that device in house. Those devices exist. You just partner with somebody for the Xbox Unless, the version, and you have Surface make the portal version. And again, we've given this a lot more, and, and I'm just tangenting off and going down. This makes no sense. There's no evidence to support it. But would they? Could they talk to NVIDIA? Huh, talk to who? Cool. NVIDIA. NVIDIA. Maybe they pull the the switch card. You could, and then you have a whole fucking shitstorm of like, well, everything is running on the AMD stuff for the regular Xbox. How do we shift that to the NVIDIA is there a compatibility side. layer or something for any of that? Is that doesn't know how it work? I mean, it works on PC, but obviously that's PC. Those not, are PC versions yeah. of the game. It's not the console know. version. They have so. a PC handheld that's NVIDIA based. They could, but you're also going to be paying NVIDIA you know, prices for that. You know what I'm thinking of? I'm, I'm trying to think of, can they get, where's the sauce? Like, where's the magic? Can they get some magic somewhere to make their their handheld you know outperform and like the only other thing that i can think of is dlss and everything nvidia is doing like they're like that's what we're talking about with nintendo the last two and a half years is they've got the magic like they're getting the magic sauce from and from nvidia according to all reports like they're punching up above the chip i mean um whereas amd is just like trying to brute force it and it's that's got the fsr but fsr you know it's just you can only do what it can do it's not like yeah. amazing dlss is a game changer you can literally a lot better 480 and upscale to 780 and get twice the performance and not know any different yeah it just requires like a whole architectural shift so that's that's the thing and then of course you do nvidia that kind of ups the price the reason why they all go with amd is because it it makes it cheaper yeah yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't expect them to completely change decades of architecture you know i wouldn't expect them to do that if anything i would expect them to go arm not you know like i wouldn't expect them to do that i was just food for thought i'm trying to think of scenarios and you know what the future could hold who knows we'll see one day maybe eventually who knows see i would rather i would rather them pick a path, be the third party, make the app, make the service, let others fight over the handheld and the install base. Be Microsoft. You know, we talk yeah. about we're beating around this bush and it's like, no, I'd rather you double down on the app, double on the service and let me choose. Yeah. Do I want to be yeah. Xbox on the Steam Deck, Xbox and Ally, and Xbox on the Claw, Xbox on the PlayStation 5? Like, let me pick my hardware. I think that's ultimately what they really want to do, but until they make those crossroads where they can actually get Game Pass on the other consoles, they can't commit to that. At least not out loud. Yeah. An eight hundred dollar and I don't know it's yeah. anything over a five hundred dollar handheld sounds like too much. Like yeah, like it's not gonna be it's a great too much. Time. Like it doesn't appeal to a lot of people. And even and something I often bring up, this has been my last point on this. This PC market that everybody talks about, like it's it's very strong in our gaming circles. It's still not like a big market. But right. we talk about like like every gamer has one, every console gamer has a Steam Deck. They don't. No. Not I mean, like the sales are very small. By, by console the, standard. Yeah, we are the, we are the small niche of people yeah, I, who actually I have doubt, multiple I doubt, things. <laughs> I doubt the Allies sold a million. I'd be surprised if it sold over a million. Yeah. The Steam Deck has probably a little more juice, but it's it's probably still, I don't know, five maybe at most. Probably possibly. Is that crazy? Probably. Am I underselling? I would, I would no. say five, and I feel like I I'm think, being high of five. Yeah, 
Yeah, honestly, I think I think that's and a high five because I'm most not PC throwing gamers. Stones. I'd be surprised if it was a five. Like I think the Steam Deck has sold very well. It's yeah, just I agree. A lot it's of people are going to spend. Yeah, it's your and Garrett the, Blands who really want that like handheld thing and are willing to do the tinkering to make the stuff work. Like that's the other thing that we forget about a lot of the handhelds is like there's a lot of work that has to go in to make them to make them work. Which is why Chaffee got rid of his. He's like, I'm not doing any of that. That's why that portal why Delvin is so nice. gives it to his son. Exactly. The risk, the risk is so small. The overhead the on the device works. is high. The device is small. It's a very, it's very focused. And here's the other thing: if even if they do it, whether whether they went big or small, let's say they did their whole console. Let's say we'll just give Dev Delvin what he said: Series S like device ish, Series S ish in a handheld. You're still competing with Nintendo in the Switch. Mm-hmm. You still have to like whether you think you do or not. When Nintendo releases their Switch, you're going head to head with a portable option on the market that just sold 140 million units. Yeah, you know, like yeah. there's a there's a lot to this Xbox handheld conversation that I think um, a lot of folks aren't talking about when they hear Phil say, "I want a handheld." Mm-hmm. You know, it's all well and good, but if you only sell two million of them, you take a bath on the manufacturing because Nintendo came out and fucking Cart Ten is amazing. And nobody thinks about you again. <laughs> like that's that's a problem. Yeah. How many people really want like Halo handheld? Like, don't you? That's want gonna that be a problem. And the big that applies experience? to everybody. That's not an Xbox thing. The Steam Deck. Yeah. That'll be an issue for the Steam Deck. If they want to come out with Steam Deck Two and it's six hundred dollars. At that time, let's say it's next year, people will look at it and go, that or a Switch 2. A lot of people. Yeah. Like PC people are going to make that decision. Nintendo people are going to make that decision. But there's a lot of people that are in between. Just let it, you know, sit on it, let it cook for a couple of years until you get all of these young kids who just really want to play Fortnite portably on some easy device. And then That's you it. Go. Fortnite doesn't even run to them. natively on the Steam Deck. It will on the Switch too. I was looking it up. Steam Deck sales are estimated between three and four million. See, yeah. see, <laughs> it's there's it's, there's this isn't a big mark. This isn't a console business like market that I think sometimes the industry. Pre- I don't want to say pretends because it's not malicious, but the hype and enthusiasm makes people think it's selling consoles. You know, like if you're looking at consoles sold right now, you think Xbox is trash. They've literally sold like five times as many consoles as the Steam Deck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like yeah. a lot more. <laughs> and um, they just happen to be in third place. That's that's just that's it. Like they're selling. Yeah. They just happen to be in third place, yeah. and they're trying Valve to figure would out. Kill to sell thirty million Steam Decks. Right. That'd yeah. be incredible. <laughs> um. All right, we've 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 beat that into the yeah, ground. I think we did that. Let's let's move on. Courtney Lalanda today 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 says, "How does it feel, Delvin, to be older than the invention of the video game system?" Tell us about the days before. Yeah, the before time. What did you play before? Ago. Did you like think of video games? Did you draw them. What was life like? Was it black and white back then? No. I don't, I don't did know. like video games introduce color to the world? <laughs> what did what did what did Kennedy say? What did Kennedy think about video games? Is that like a big thing? Kennedy from MTV. What about Roosevelt? What was Roosevelt's Theodore? Yeah. What was his take take on the? I don't know. Back when you were in the caves, did you just draw on the wall and pretend and make that Raising a game? Like, yeah, what was that like? Clarify caves. <laughs> 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 this podcast always devolves into that direction. Always at every, every turn. Time. At every, every turn. Single time. I can't give you guys an inch. I think about that when I'm writing Whoa. the stories. I'm like, Definitely can't can. use that word. If I use that word, it's gonna go here. <laughs> yep. Goddamn deviants. Oh, man. Lord Snurts wants to know: Would you rather be Batman? Or a Jedi. Batman. 
I'm, I'm going to be the Jedi because I'm just going to force choke Batman. There's nothing he can do about that. Uh, I don't think they're the same. You're just suggesting that we're both there together. It's not. That's not at all. Would you just no. rather be Batman or oh, Jedi? You're Batman I, I, or you're a Jedi? Yeah, yeah it's not I, both. <laughs> it's not. You're not in the say, world both. Yeah, I didn't say both. I, I, the reason you're talking I'm about force choking the, Batman. The Batman's reason not there. I'm picking the Jedi is because why would I want to be Batman if I can force choke somebody? Can ed- can everybody force choke or only certain Jedi can force oh, choke? I'm going to be the evil. You don't know I'm that, gonna, though. You don't know I'm that. I'm going to be the Sith. You, but I, you don't I, know that. You may not be that strong. If I'm a Jedi, I'm force choking somebody. That's just how it rolls. <laughs> you may want to force choke. You may aspire to force choke, but maybe you can't force choke. It's a Sith power. It has nothing to do with how strong you are. It's a Sith power. You, Force All choke. Siths can force choke? Every one of them? Every one that I've seen. Is that documented? Did General Grievous force choke somebody? General Grievous wasn't a Jedi. He was a Sith, though. He wasn't a Sith, either. It's a robot. He was a robot who just happened to kill Jedis and steal them. lightsabers. Did Count Dooku force choke someone? Yes. Yes. But then, He also on, had force lightning. Hold on. To be yeah, clear. Yeah, the lightning's cool. Jedi and Sith aren't the same thing. They're not. Jedi right. are the good guys. So you definitely yeah, have to be a good you guy. Can be a Seth. You are a Jedi. You're a Jedi. No, 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 no. No, that's Dooku, true. No, no, hold on. A good hold on. Here. Dooku was a Jedi and he turned Sith. But you're not turning I'm Sith. Turning. Yeah, but he didn't I'm say that. He just he said, said you are a Jedi. a Jedi. Look, you're a Jedi. I'm turning. And I can turn. I If I'm a Jedi, <laughs> I can choose my path. That's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. I can decide, you know what? Y'all shit is dumb. I'm going to be evil. I don't like that answer. That's, a, that's kind of like... That's fine. Jedi. I didn't say Sith. Say I don't Jedi. care what it said. Start, I'm going to take those Jedi's power and I'm going to be... I'm going to turn evil and I'm going to force choke this I'm thinking about people. force choking like in the bedroom. Like, that could be fun. See? Let's get out you know, here. like there's something there. Get a little electricity in there too? I'm there's something. Saying. A little zap, yeah. a little sting. Yeah. That's what got Diddy in trouble. Fingertip. <laughs> you know, just a little something. Yeah, it's damn it. <laughs> No, I'm Batman. Um, it's very easy for me. Batman's rich. He's the that. richest person in the city. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just instantly going to be the richest person in my universe. And so I will I. figure, I will figure it out. Murder everybody with my Jedi abilities. Yeah. yeah. I don't think the Jedi or any of the Jedi or this stuff, they don't, none of them seem overly like wealthy. Um, I can't see. What you mean about being a dark Jedi? What do you mean by that? Oh no! See, you should... <laughs> what do you mean dark? What do you mean dark yeah. Jedi? For the darkness, son of a bitch. We need that movie. We need, we need a Charlie Murphy. <laughs> it's Star Wars. And I would say Chancellor or Emperor Palpatine was probably the richest person in the galaxy. To be perfectly honest. Yeah, and like I realize that there you are resources. They've got the spaceships guys. and stuff, but like they don't generally yes. feel. You're a Jedi. But like they don't, we don't see their homes or anything. Like that they're, you know, like they don't seem wealthy. Luke was poor. <laughs> Luke was poor. Right. The Jedi. Yeah. Like the Jedi. All the Jedi, Jedi take. The, the Jedi, Jedi seem poor. Yeah, yeah of course. Because the they're stupid. <laughs> they really do. <laughs> fucking wearing <laughs> towels and shit. It's like y'all. Right you have like lightsabers and shit. Like. A, broke, a bunch of brokies. And that's why you go Sith. That's not the Once question. you go Sith. That, that, yeah. The question, the, the question is to stay a Jedi. or Batman? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be a Jedi and eventually I'm going to go evil and say fuck all this and I'm going to force choke your shit out of everybody. Steal their money. Batman messes around with Catwoman, not latex and all that. You At know, first, like- I was leaning, I was leaning way towards Jedi, but Donnie's kind of Kyle. Batman. I'm telling you, right? There's a oh, lot yeah, here man. on this side, dude's oh, rich, rich. There's there's Selena. Yeah, he's got all kinds of shit. He gets a fly. He's got fucking sweet cars. He's got a mansion, his own private cave. I might as well just let Joker terrorize the city. I have fun things to do. Yeah, I got like, child soldiers like not, a work for him. Like, I may not be a shit. good Batman. Go yeah, send the fucking blue kid out there. Whatever the fuck he's doing, hey, go out there and smack that kid with your cane or something. Like I don't know, go yeah. fight the penguin. I'm um I'm talking. So the to, question uh, is, if you're Batman, are we are we there. talking also universes? Are we in the Batman universe? Are you in the Jedi? Like how does that work? In the chat, Singray says if it's Adam West Batman, because I am specifically thinking like Batman, either the animated series or like Telltale or like the Dark Knight version of Batman. If it's or Adam West Batman, Batman, I am one hundred percent going that universe. 
If it's Adam West, I'm 100 percent being a Jedi. Like that's the yeah, like I, no, I am going to so you know Adam what? West universe. <laughs> you know, I'm just I'm just I'm dead in this. It's Batman in our current universe or a Jedi in our where we're at right now. All of a sudden you just get to become Batman or you get to become a Jedi. What's our current universe? What does that mean? Us, me, you, where we're at, Earth. Oh, universe, like just Batman. here? Just here. Just here. Earth one. But what come out what what like for you to be a Jedi is something Star Wars has to come into it with you. And like no, same thing no, for no, Batman. No, 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 no. Like all Joker of a sudden, and Gotham. No, no. All of a sudden you've got the abilities. Okay, so Jedi. it's just you. Or, it's just an individual choice. Yeah, better mm-hmm. choice. Yeah, dude, I'm still being Batman. I'm one hundred percent the richest dude here. Yeah, I'm being Batman. <laughs> and see, I could I could be a Jedi and just go kill them. Yeah, they're going to shoot you. Though. They're not going to have up with that. They're, you're getting put down. Trump's ending saying, you quick. I'm, I'm not worried about bullets. <laughs> I'm not worried about. Do you see what they do with them lightsabers? I'm not yeah, worried about yeah. bullets. You can only bullets? go so far. For we second, can kill a Jedi. Us. For a second, he we, thought he, was, he forgot he was black. <laughs> <laughs> we can bullets? kill a Jedi. They're not like like, go too the far. world can kill a Jedi. That's possible. That can yeah. be done. Nah, bullets ain't going. Ain't not worried about it. Yeah, not worried about it. I can just walk down the street. I can just be out in the open. I can be amongst us. You yeah. know, like, he can do what? Ah, no, can't have that. <laughs> yeah, the moment he somebody pulls out a lightsaber and start like, oh, that. You apparently haven't seen how law enforcement treat other people with weapons. Oh, like, I that's know how shit. law enforcement treat other people. <laughs> They're coming for you. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it. Bring it. I'm tossing cop cars and everything. We might not be able to pick Destruction. anything. Damn. Destruction. Destruction. <laughs> like, you rich. can't. Definitely can't be no black Batman. That's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Man. The IRS is coming for you and taking yeah. everything. Facts. Everything. <laughs> Facts. It's IRS, FBI. How did this nigga grow up? Yeah, I so much some wealth. fucking stooge sitting in my kitchen. So where did you come? How did you come by this wealth? Yeah. Did you right. claim this last year? They, they really finna call me the dip. They plan like, all the why evidence. Why all these kids working for you? <laughs> I'm like, no, I can't be Batman. <laughs> yeah, in our current world, sudden, honestly, we could pick either one of them. In our current world's tearing us down. It's yeah, just the world we live in. If anything, can I just be a regular person in one of these worlds? Can we leave? Can I leave my world? I'll trade the superpower. Just be a regular person in one of those worlds. <laughs> I mean, to be perfectly honest, you know, Batman in this world is either Elon Musk or, or Jeff Bezos. You just pick one. Yeah, but they're douches. You're saying fighting. They are. It's Batman yeah, Batman, Batman is a douche. Yeah, but it's cool, though. Bruce cool Wayne douche. is an asshole. Nobody yeah, likes Bruce cool Wayne. Asshole. Asshole. I don't like these is guys. He? Batman is would not he? make the fucking Tesla truck. That is that is sacrilege and blasphemous to the name of Batman. Come on. Well, that's because Batman doesn't want to do anything to help anybody. That's also He's not helping anybody. Yeah, correct. Really I wouldn't either. I'm not doing that shit. I got things to do. All right, Joker, go on timeout. <laughs> no, Basically. Shoot him. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, no, because he's what keeps him around. Yeah. Exactly. You know, job security. Everybody, when IRS starts coming out for Batman's wealth, it's time to let Joker out. Yeah. Oh, I guess somebody needs to save you guys, huh? Well, man. <laughs> Anytime you that know? scared, all of a sudden... Now it all makes sense. This is this is when you realize we've all lived long enough that we can't even have heroes anymore. Yeah. We start tearing them down like this. <laughs> you hear the cynicism? You gotta keep Joker around to keep the IRS at bay. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Makes sense. God damn. Batman. Oh, the system's broken. <laughs> yep. Yeah, pretty much. Q43 and says, planning a summer vacation with the fam. If money were no object, what would you do? He's fishing for ideas. Money and object, money no object. I'm going on a cruise. I'm doing yeah, the cruise thing. There on the boat. Do you see I the boat that just like flooded? I don't care. I'm going on a cruise like, in two weeks. Cruising for me is the only vacation I ever want to do because I don't have to do anything. There's no work. There's no thought involved. All my meals are planned out. I don't have to go nowhere. I don't have to think about nothing. I, that's vacation. I don't want to work. Everything else is work. Vacationing on a cruise ship, simple, easy, till, no work. Until the pirates show up. Let the pirates show up. <laughs> my wife is always talking about pirates. I'm like, you really? are you really worried about pirates? Let them come. Let's fuck them up. There's more of us than them. This isn't like a tanker with nobody on it. Like, I'm not too worried about it. 
I think he would be worried if pirates actually shoot. Yeah, <laughs> I think he'd be very like, worried. Like, he's a Jedi. I'm, I'm right. not worried about After pirates he's over here coming. Like... <laughs> pirates ain't coming to no cruise ship. I'm not. No, no. They're, not they're, they're actually coming to cruise ship. Yeah, that actually happened. happened. That happened. Yeah. I don't know. Cru- I don't know cruises I'm going on. That's over there. Be I'm not coming to Mexico. I've been on several cruises. You think right? I do you think it's an East Coast thing, not a not a West Coast thing. Mm. You don't weird. have all the islands and stuff out there. Yeah. Oh, I've been on, I've been to several Caribbean cruises. That is a thing there. They're not they're not hijacking giant ass. It is a thing ships. though. It happens. I'm not worried about it. Hmm. If I had no object, and it's really not money, it, to me it's actually time. But if I had no object and I could do exactly what I wanted to do, I've always wanted to like road trip to like either Vegas or the Grand Canyon and back. That sounds fun. I would love to do that with my wife, like get in the car and like stay at like wherever we find along the road, you know, like just do like the Route 66, like back in the day shit. Sounds really, really fun to me. Dope. I like it. I hate it, but it's for you. Hex out. <laughs> Works for you. I can't do it. Going to Japan, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Going to Japan. Sounds like fun. Just going to Japan, seeing all the cool sites and stuff like that. Going to visit all the get video game stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Solid. Might get in the bar park the Yakuza. Probably would die, but it'd be fine. Definitely will die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely it's not a good idea. Not a good idea. <laughs> I do want to go to Japan. That's on the bucket list of places I want to go. But it's more like the Japanese countryside. I don't care about all the video games and stuff. I want to see like I'm sure the, it's all uh, been like the shrines and stuff. super picked over at anything. If Ollie expresses anything to believe like it's gonna be probably just <laughs> chock full of <laughs> you know hundred percent man. Yeah. Like I maybe that's completely off base but like I've one hundred percent like that's what I would expect to go into. Yeah. <clears throat> Vintendos because <laughs> I mean like ever since the dawn of YouTube Americans have been exporting video gamers over there for that very reason ever since. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I'm sure like anything that gets a touristy, I'm sure it's become very touristy. You know, like we know that there's like a shit ton of like reproductions. I'm sure that that place is full of that shit. Oh yeah. You know, I'm sure there's like, mm-hmm. you can get any 64 game you want. It's not original. <laughs> All this shit is brand new. It was made last week. You know, it doesn't make it any less cool. I'm down for that too. But you know, it is what it is. It's like when you go to, um, like Chinatown in New York City or something. It's like, eh. yeah, a lot of people do this. Yeah, you want that purse? Sure. It's not it's not what you think it is, but it looks like it. $30. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> you know, that's that's what I would expect. Maybe I'm just completely wrong. But that would be what I would, if I had to guess, that'd be what I would expect. $30 gets you a I'd be more purse. worried about you being sold off to like some wrestling fan for dinner or something. Mm. You know, That's also a possibility. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. Table. You hear some stories from the wrestlers that do that shit. That other shit is wild. They just get fucking hoed out over there. Like you're just off to dinner with this billionaire this week. Yeah. Have fun. <laughs> make us make us proud. Like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> do you not know that, Dev? You're looking Absolutely at me all confused. I, In I Japan, don't even, I don't even a lot of the wrestlers wanna. will be like up for bid. You can have a bid for like a night with the wrestler and they go out to the bar with you or go to dinner with you, whatever you want to do. That's hmm. true. It's weird. It's very weird. Yeah. I mean, their idea of prostitution isn't even a problem. It's like brothels and things. That's just normal. That's normal for them. Yeah. That's what they do. I mean, it's just part of their culture. It's very, very different. Yeah. yeah. So, but I like it. Japan. Yeah, and the place you'd want to go is Akibara, Delvin. That's where they have all the otaku yeah. culture, all the shopping district with all the video games and all Perfect. that stuff. That's yeah. Be yeah. You can sleep in one of their like coffin hotels. Mm hmm. You seen the bathrooms in Japan? Very small. Very small, but very clean. True. Very, very clean. <laughs> We've got to fight. <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. It's been happening Nobody all day. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what's happening. It's just it's doing whatever it wants to do tonight. Yeah. Yarden wants to know if we want to discuss the Stellar Blade discourse at all. I have I no was, idea what he's talking about. What is it? What's the, what's the discourse? I saw on Twitter and I was like, I don't know what he's talking about. 
Me if I googled no Stellar clue. Blade, would it pop up? I thought I you guys know. would know. I had I have no clue. No clue. You're our you're our PlayStation guy. <laughs> God damn it, Delvin. Not yeah. even a little bit. I don't know. What but we want to play the game. We don't care about the discourse around it. I'm sure it has something to do with her being naked. But Stellar Blade director recommends players make Eve wear actual clothes as much as possible. <laughs> oh, you know what? It, you know what it might be. It might be there was an IGN article that said that uh, whoever made this game has never seen a woman or something, even though Eve is actually like, oh no, they did off not. of a woman. Really? Yeah, they, they, they were like IGN. this. This person is just a is just some somebody who's who's made their idea of a woman who's never seen a woman. This this woman doesn't exist, and like everybody was like, but yes, she's yes. she's based off of an actual person. Like she's a real so, woman. Yeah, it's a real woman. IGN this writer isn't... Ben Osala insults Stella Bray director artist Hung Tang Kim, who has married fellow concept artist Ji Yoon Che. Wow. Yeah, so that that may be it. Do which I think is a, Yeah. How are you going to write a story about a game and you don't even know that the character Eve is actually based off of a real person who they actually brought in for motion capture to get everything like yep. it's an actual person so it's not new <laughs> other games have chosen to highlight the strengths of their female characters but where bayonetta stands out with an iconic design or 2b from near automata inspires an entire generation of cosplayers eve from stellar blade is just bland a doll sexualized by a person who's never seen a woman before yeah. Ooh. That may be the discourse. Yeah. Yeah, I would imagine so. That's yeah. That's terrible. Right. Yikes. Huh? Gotta play the game and give it my opinion myself. But yeah, it's a weird take. That's a really terrible take for somebody who's a journalist who clearly has not done any of the homework to realize that this is a person, a person who's based off of Even outside of the person. being the real person, which I knew <laughs> she was before, and even outside of that. Mm-hmm. We've all seen really hot women. Yes. They look like characters yeah. like that. Like, like, like that's a real thing that exists in the world. I'm not sure uh, who this person or where he goes, but like um, maybe he lives somewhere. <laughs> like, I don't know. Have you been to Miami? Been to Hotlanta? I could take you somewhere. Yeah. Show you a bunch yeah. of Eves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just, just stupid. Just yeah. stupid. I, I'm aware that not every woman looks like that. Of course. Uh, doesn't mean that it's like a fantasy. There yeah. are women that look like that for real. Plenty of lots them. of them. Lots of them. Exactly. <laughs> lots of them. And lots of them have accounts to show you that they look like that. Yes. 100%. Oh my God. If like, you happen a wild to even, thing to say, if you post anything on Twitter, you're going to get never plenty been of those bots. A woman without yeah. ever telling me you've never been with a woman. <laughs> like that's yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. Only, yeah. come on, man. Yeah. Terrible. Oof. Yeah. So here, here's play Stellar Blade. Yeah, play it. So those do, are sexy Donnie games can't... again. Like I would, like we did. We definitely. I feel like the industry there was like that pushback with Bayonet and stuff. Like I think we did that for like ten years, and I thought maybe we were starting to come out of it. And it's like maybe we have it. Like the game journal definitely doesn't want us to have that. It's like let us let us fucking let us have the game. Like you've got every other game. We've got a, a thousand female heroine actions of all different shapes and sizes, and let let them let the folks have the damn weeb game if they want to make the weeb game. Yeah, all games. Let them do all the games, or at least keep the same energy for every other fucking hentai game that gets released every week. Yeah. Don't just pick it up on the on the one that people are excited for. Do yeah. it all the also, time. Also, get mad at when they have hot guys in video games. How about yeah? That? How about you keep exactly. that same energy for the hot dudes? Do that too. Yeah. Every shirtless dude rolling around in Final Fantasy. Come on, yeah, man. Dudes yeah. are hunky. Keep that same. Play energy. some Dragon Age. Play Fire Emblem. Dudes are hunky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of hunky dudes going around. Clearly, these yeah. designers have never seen a man before. Yeah. Where's yeah. the dad bods? Yeah, where are the dad bods? Justice for people. father figures. <laughs> you know. It's like, ah. oh, come on, get over, like, get over ourselves. Yeah. Okay, like we don't have to wage. The world's political correctness war on the video game front. Yeah, if you don't go like write it, don't for play something it. else. Go do something else. Don't play yeah. it. You know for real. Jesus, on. that's what I wish we'd do a lot more of. If you don't, if you don't, it's not for you. Just say it's not for you and move on. 
or even just like if that's where you, if that's the take if that's the writing you want to do like get into politics go fight real culture wars mm-hmm. that have real ramifications go do that yeah. the fuck this out is, of video games this is video games <laughs> it's, it's a video games the fuck, none of what it's are we fucking talking real about, man it's not real right none of it's real <laughs> go write about something that matters <laughs> yeah just stupid <sighs> All right, here's a fun one. TPR says, each of you are stuck in a doomsday bunker for an indefinite amount of time with each other. I did clarify, this is a, like, fallout vault. All right. So he wants to know who pisses you off first and what's the most likely way that they do it. It's Def. Oh, absolutely. It's Def. Yeah, I think me and Delvin would be good for a long time. Yeah. Oh, man, me and Delvin would be like roommates. We could have a fucking sitcom together. Making yeah. dinner, playing chess, playing cards. It's dev. Everybody yeah. knows it's dev. It's you know when it is? It's whenever we decide to do anything. What are we having for dinner tonight? Dev hates on everybody's options. What are we mm-hmm. playing for a game tonight? Dev hates on those options. Karaoke night, dev hates on that option. It's definitely dev. Yeah. Dev is pissy he's in a goddamn bunker. Yeah, because I can already see how it's gonna go. Down like, Dale, you wanna do something? Like, yeah, sure, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Response, nine times like, yeah, no. sure, let's go. <laughs> 100%. Yeah, that, no, I don't want to fucking do that. Yeah, the fucking bunker. Exactly. What the yeah. fuck, man? Just let me die outside, please. I don't want to be stuck in this goddamn vault. will let him die outside. I'm out. <laughs> just open the door. In this goddamn vault? This like, bunker? This longer is, this cast is, in our no. Cloverfield movie, sir. Yeah. Please leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm out. We know it's just been a nuclear explosion outside, but you can go out there. After we're playing video games, he's just like talking shit to us while we're playing, like over our shoulders. Like, man, if you don't take fucking ass, why did you bring me in this bunker? Nobody asked you to do that. Let me die in peace. I'd be like, if you don't walk out there, it better kill you or I'm going to kill you. But either way, this shit's about to happen, all right? Goddamn Fallout Bunker. Ugh. I'll be fine. I'm going to bring a whole bunch of wrestling DVDs, Blu ray. It actually sounds peaceful. It's like we go back to COVID. Cool stuff to play. Yeah, man. That sounds cool. Yeah. We're watching Mania. Yeah. This is, this is easy. Breeze, man. I'll, be I'll man. watch Transformers movies. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Got nothing else to do. I got a whole bunch. No, and teach me about Transformers. Well, I do I have this? Punch who's this fucking thing? A Blu rays and shit we could watch, but we would never mm-hmm. get bored. Horror like, movies, horror so movies. many horror movies. The whole Evil Dead collection. Yeah, we never get bored. Look at Dev. Look at Dev's face. Just like <laughs> Evil Dead and wrestling. Like yeah. no, this so is why if it's a if it's a Fallout if it's a Fallout vault, I'm just I'm in my own fucking section because it's at the end of the world. Shit. We're gonna go like kick it old. So we're going from the territories days to modern wrestling. You know, oh, full man. understanding of wrestling from like the fifties on. <laughs> Shoot me! No, <laughs> I'm just. Do I have a library? I have teach books, you right? like how it's influential funny. Texas Chainsaw was in the horror industry in the '60s, Dev. Yeah, I like. It. We have a library. <sighs> I have a bunch of comic books, so I have at least five hundred comic books to put in there. I might even start reading comics. Why not? Yeah, got, got quite a few horror ones. I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> uh, Kyle the Pug. Fuck you, Kyle the Pug. He'd like to know how many times did Delvin wake up and see ass on his birthday? I uh, actually did, did he, surprisingly. Did he pass it off to his friends again? Did or not. did he keep it all for not. himself? He because definitely I was, kept it for himself. I was surprised because I woke up, I opened up my phone, this wasn't the person that you met into the bodega, was it? No. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> Meg the Stallion is doing like a video with Glorilla. And I, I don't even know the name of the song, but I just saw her like twerking on Twitter like, oh. He's like, oh, our new video is coming out Friday. I'm like, oh, okay. That's it. That's his algorithm, people. He opened mm-hmm. his phone and it was yeah, like, bang. Meg the Stallion. Yeah, she's always been my algorithm. The algorithm's working. That should be everyone's <laughs> algorithm. It's called Two Thick Glow. <laughs> That's the name of the song. Too thick. That's the name of the song. It's coming out Friday, apparently. I saw it. Like, oh, next time. Guess I'm watching that video. That works. Yeah. I love there it is. Time. She's amazing. 
She's a weeb. Hey. Makes it even better. Well, here's a good question for Bud June Dubs. He says, if money was no issue, where would you guys live and what type of home would you have? <sighs> hmm. I'm leaving the country. So am I. I'm getting the fuck um, out of here. I'm yeah. probably going to Europe, probably somewhere like semi rural, not a city. So like maybe like Ireland, Scotland, Finland, Austria type maybe. Um simple house. I'm not I'm not one for houses. I could care less. Like, you know, the joke I always make the house that I have now, which is by no means modern or great house by American standards is the best house I've ever lived in. But if money is no object, uh, I've seen vacation homes that have like pools in them, like in the basement, but then you can like make it rain in the pool. They have like a thing that like makes the rain come down in the pool. Cool. Like, I, want, I want one of those. And then the rest of the house can be whatever. Okay, I just need a bed and a closet. Like I don't give a fuck, but I definitely want one of those. Cause I'm, Kind of a water bug. I don't think I'd ever leave. So I'd love that and like maybe like a sauna and like a little gym and I'd be set. I'd never leave my house. I'd stay there forever. <laughs> Have any of you ever watched it's a terrible movie. Don't watch it. But you probably saw it. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. The Flash movie? Nope. I, t I told you I turned it off. Okay. No, I didn't watch it. Did I love Michael scene? Keaton, and I was did like, you, no. "Did you get to that scene where they show Michael Keaton?" In the, 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 I fast forwarded to Michael. That's all okay. I did. I fast forwarded until I saw Michael Keaton, and then I turned I, it off. I want my house to be where the bat matching was at, excluded from everyone <laughs> as far as possible from the real world. Is it can be closed off? You can't get in. Just secluded in an area where no one can go to. Just separated from reality. And I'd be happy. Sure. Have all my stuff there. Don't have to hear from nobody. Y'all want to call me? Y'all want to come over and podcast? We can do that. Otherwise, that'll leave me alone. <laughs> Separated from all reality. I ain't got to worry about, like, can I have diplomatic immunity so I don't have to worry about nothing political? Like, wow. You know? <laughs> That's honestly, like, why I would leave the country. Yeah. Yeah. Just got out of this, this constant, like, infighting and the systems and the parties and the people. And it's the con, like, I don't think this is ever, like, Everywhere else in the world isn't worried about these things. Yeah. Nope. I just want to go somewhere that's a bit quieter. Yeah. You know, a bit sleepier. What y'all doing over there? Somewhere cloudy, kind of rainy. Yeah. You know, something like that. Yeah. What y'all yeah. doing over somewhere there? Where people, somewhere there. where people nap. You know, like, I need to find a decent napping climate. <laughs> that's Spain. kind of what I'm looking for. Spain be great. They have siestas. Yeah. I like yeah. And if the whole you country could, goes on a holiday in August. Yeah, that's nice. Maybe a rural place in Spain. Yeah, I'm probably moving to Japan. Gonna live in the countryside where it's nice and pretty. Uh, my house is gonna be decked the fuck out with all the electronics and things. I'm gonna have a nice pool. I'm gonna have a basketball gym, like full gym. Um, yeah, that's pretty dope. That's yeah, good call. I full wouldn't mind having a half room. court. Yeah, get the full court. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Lord rims, all the all the good stuff, and yeah, probably like four or five bedrooms, and a gaming like a whole dedicated gaming space. So let's talk about that. I think we've all probably thought of our perfect gaming space. How would you make it? So I've given some serious thought to this. Uh, I don't know, just a nice sized room with enough space for all. Of, I, I'm not thinking about anybody else but me. Like I don't care about bringing people to this space. This is just. My space, so it doesn't have to be huge, but enough space big. to have my computer, uh, <clears throat> TV with all the old stuff, a couple of arcade systems, um, hardwired Ethernet everywhere, maybe some LED sure. lights, you yeah. know, like that. So, I've, I've given this some thought. What I want to do is, I'd like to make a room where it has like the main wall, could be, I think, it at the very least. On this main wall, I would need to be able to have ample room for like three 60 inch TVs. Okay. It's not nothing too much, you know, but like decent, a decent wall. Right. So I want a cabinet, maybe slightly shorter than a desk, 
two and a half, three feet off the ground, like a cabinet. And I want the three TVs on the cabinet, and, you know, underneath the cabinets have like the cubbies or whatever. But behind that wall, so along that wall, I essentially want like a, like a slit or a cover. And behind that wall, I want a full walk-in room behind it for all of the AV. Everything just goes through the wall into that room. And in that room is where everything gets hooked up in. And there are no wires or anything to be seen from the actual room. Right, so everything's in there. Everything just goes through the wall and into the wall and into the TVs. I was either thinking like this to home run it, or you actually just have like a an AV system stack. But those come with their own problems and process. I'd rather just home run it. And that way I could have every console that I want with no wires or power or adapters or anything visible or seen or in the way. I just run it all into this AV room, wire it up, and then close the door. Right, as you were like Wi-Fi everywhere, have home runs at every along the way. And I just close the door and I just sit in my beanbag chair on the floor and can play anything on any of these TVs that I want whenever. That's how I would set up like my perfect gaming space, I think, if I could. I like it. I'm still playing at a desk with my computers. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't wanna I can't I can't play on a TV. I cannot play video games on a TV to save my life. It's like the most irritating experience at this point. Well my I, my my computer is on a TV. Like to me, they're yeah. to me they're they're one and the same. Yeah, mine twenty seven inch monitor. I may I may go as big as thirty two, but outside of that, like anything bigger, it just it doesn't feel right anymore. Mm. And I still play everything with headphones. I even watch. I prefer sitting here watching TV on this screen with headphones than I do like watching television on the TV. Gotcha. Uh, I kind of dig what I got now. Just give me That's because you arcade. live in fucking yeah, Funko in Land. Fucking Toys R Us. I want a bunch of arcade cabinets. That one's like I, what I, you I have. did it. Yeah, I want like I yeah, it. Exactly. Delvin did it. Yeah, like five <laughs> He's living the arcade dream. Cab cabinets. We all aspire to be Delvin. <laughs> <laughs> I have three so far. Now, to be yeah. fair, he had like a 50-year head start. So This is true. This there. is true. So, yeah. Delvin, you feel like uh, what's the best? I'm retired when I was born. It was gold watch in 1987. <laughs> like a vandal savage. Like I've just been living all these lifetimes, <laughs> accruing wealth. <laughs> I think of it more like interstellar, right? Like you're Murphy. Like one day we're all coming, you have like your whole family around the bed and all that. You've been through like multiple universes and timelines. That's a great movie. I want to watch That's it. a great movie. movie. That movie is, is awesome. a great movie. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That boy can act. L I V I N. Keep <laughs> living, man. <laughs> All right. Well, that does it for this extra long episode of the Play Some Video Games podcast. Sorry, Jermaine, that you dropped out. I don't know what happened. Your internet sucks and you disappeared. It's not a good first impression. Um, Hopefully, uh, we figure that out at some point and uh, can actually we? get you on the show for the long haul. By we, I mean him. There's not, I don't mean like the collective here. <laughs> we? <laughs> I mean uh, him. Who is we? <laughs> exclusively a him problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And until next time, play some video games because Lord knows I'm not. Enjoy Mania. Nobody's sleeping in the middle of the bed. The middle of the bed is only where you do the business. But when everybody's ready to sleep, it's the side of the bed that can't be beat. It's the middle of the bed where lovers meet. But when it comes down to slumber, it's the edges. Ooh, 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 the edges. <laughs>